Hey, we're live. Hey. 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 <laughs> Hello, and we're thank you to all the new here. followers. Thank you to Scorpio for the gift Whoa. subs. Salamat kung so. Thank you, thank you. How are you guys doing today? Got out of work early. I'm happy for you, Roxy. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi Roxy, hi Maka, hi Scorpio. Hi Maka, thank you JC Hello. for my other bingo. I'm already <laughs> so close to a three in a row and there is no prizes this time. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm excited to get fuck all. <laughs> but I hope you guys are doing really well today. It has been a week since we were last here. It has been an eventful week. <laughs> Um, so, expect the usual chaos, I suppose. Um, probably some more hesitation on my part, um, because I fell over. <laughs> oh. I literally fell <laughs> That was the funniest of the line. JC just went, wait, you literally fell over? <laughs> I, yep. I literally right. fell over. I literally fell over. Um, I hurt my knee. And my phone screen. But I gotta fix it. it. See, I know. It saved my fall. It 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 it, I, it it took took the sacrifice for me. Um. But yes, mm. we hope you guys are doing incredibly well and are open and amenable to our usual chaos. Um. Hooray! Ooh, way way. And yes, thank you, Scorpio. Mod love. Give love to your mods today, because they they keep they keep them they're they they're the real DMs. <laughs> so I'm just a puppet. Um, <laughs> mod love, you keep getting cooler and cooler mod love emotes every time, and I love that. They're important. <laughs> they are important. Um, Lurkers and mods, man, lifeblood. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, I had a really fucked up idea this week. Oh, I yeah. can't remember what it was. <laughs> no, I'm so mad. Oh no, you can't remember. It's so bad. Oh, <laughs> it was gonna be really fun. Oh, I remember what it was, but I'm what not prepared it? enough for it. Well, no, it was gonna be I introduce you all, and you get a secret mission, which is not a secret, but the mission is to incorporate a specific phrase. As seamlessly as you can into dialogue. Hell in yeah! Oh my and god! You, and you get a point of inspiration. Hell uh, yeah! If, if you manage. <laughs> <laughs> um. Do we get a bolt of DM lightning if we do it unnaturally? Sure. <laughs> nice. I like that new addition. Uh, and <laughs> <No>. uh, <laughs> and uh, consequence to your actions. Uh, I've just got to think of some. Uh, so, you know, Do we we'll start... want us to vamp? Want, want us to... <laughs> Q&A with the audio? <laughs> uh, with the audience? AMA? <laughs> hmm. Well, audience, let me know if you have any suggestions for unnatural but funny phrases we can try and squish into the campaign. Because stuff like very demure... You know, we can. That's easy. That's too easy peasy. Um, but we'll see. But in the meantime, let us introduce our wonderful players. Um, who would like to go first? It's like show and tell at school all over again. Oh shit! I'm Dime Package. I Woo! play Bifong the Stairs. And did you know that a raccoon can fit into a four foot space? <laughs> It can. Mm hmm And that's all that anyone needs to know. About exactly. <laughs> we support your local trash pandas. <laughs> we saw a great film the other day called Creepy Pasta. Um, no, it's not. <laughs> it's I don't even know if it's a, a film. film. <laughs> it's barely. Um, been using gerbils like a casual. Whoa! <laughs> if anyone can get, I've been using gerbils like a casual into your dialogue naturally. <laughs> gerbils. 
you will get a point of inspiration. And it will be like, it will be like a D, it will be a D12 of inspiration. It, like, considerable. Mark, 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 oh, thank you so much, Mark! Thank you, Mark! So many gifty subs! Slay J. <laughs> hey, Slurk got one. Hemtown got one. Carrot Sammy also got one. Thank you so much, Maka. Hope you're doing well today. I love that name, the Slart. That's a good name. Isn't it, mm -hmm. isn't it great? It's like it's not quite short. Slarty Bart quite... Fast. Slarty <laughs> Bart Fast. You know, I'm learning English right now. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson number one the Slart. The Slart. <laughs> Is is just just above the humorous <laughs> uh, <laughs> in the body. Is it, yeah, it's in uh, op game of operation. Um, you too can go to our coffee and create a character called. <laughs> <laughs> so was it Slart Barbados? Slarty Slart Bartfast. Slarty Bartfast. You you can go to the coffee and make a character with that name. Isn't that exciting? You can ruin everything. Um, <laughs> only you can ruin everything. Um, but yes, much love to be far, much love to thine package. Who wants to go next? No pressure. Hello, I'm Darion, and I'll be playing the part of Tarquin, your Yay. favorite draw monk who is very famous, talented, and also friends with a crystal dragon. So yeah, everything. <laughs> Sorry. It's right here. Is it, is it just friends? I don't know what it is. Seemed like it kind of went beyond friends a little bit. <laughs> Look, if the dragon wants to give him some dragon eggs as a present, I'm not gonna oh say my no. God. <laughs> Maybe we can know. all have well our own little dragons. I don't know. Oh shit! Sure. Tar connections. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm about to roll my my lovely new dice. Um, I also don't know Tarquin. Um. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, not since not since the dragon incident, I refuse. Um... Well, Chris <laughs> knows him, so I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> All that matters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, thank you so much. Who would like to go after the wonderful Tarquin, who's taken all the bard's thunder for dragon relationships? Hi, I'm Rubes. Rubes makes stuff on Twitter and Twitch. <laughs> you can uh, catch me today. I'll be playing the role of Camellia. I'm super excited because my mom's here and she's kind of scary, you guys, but watch out. Also, I love to smell my own feet. <laughs> That's me. I'm Rubes. And Your what... feet? Yeah, I was uh, gonna say. Just my, my, the hoof cheese smells like Fritos. It's my favorite oh thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Not hoof cheese. No. No. JC, I guess that means it's your turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, I'm JC. I play Ludo Vayani. I'm on Cardlin Audio. Uh, I'm actually celebrating Cardlin Audio's ninth anniversary. Oh, you are! Oh my god! The backfire oh my friendship! Saturday. Congratulations! I respect you so much. <laughs> <laughs> they were and so nice. Once again, I'm JC. Hi, Maka. 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 <laughs> Drawing attention to you. <laughs> Amazing. Um, um, Rubes, doesn't, um, doesn't Camellia have a surname as well? I uh, know, Rubes. Yes, uh, it is. Don't look. Oh, so, uh... You should know about your own character. It's like roses, camellia roses. Camellia. What if I exactly. happened to put a gun up to Ludo's head? Fancy gun to his head. I am camellia th throws, throws, yeah. camellia throws. There we go. That's what this image says. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I almost got away with it if it wasn't for you pesky open book tests. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. But yes, welcome in everybody! Yes, and shout out to Avia, JC, Whoops, Muck Muck, just everybody who's here. Pimtune, Whoops, and Dimes, Coyune, 
Mockern, Scorpion, Diamond, Rock, Serene, JC, JC, I guess. Oh, Scorpion, And of course, Stream Elements. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and Katie for winning him out. And a belated happy birthday to Katie and Maka. Papa, Papa, Maka. Papa, Papa, Maka. <laughs> Maka, Kai. I always say Katy. It just looks like Katy, but it's Katie. I'm learning. I know, I got high marker and a free spot, so <laughs> I have a chance this week. I will never cook. <laughs> no, you will! <laughs> I was meant to ask, how are you guys doing for rations and ingredients? Uh, wouldn't mind hitting a shop when we can. Yeah, yeah that would be nice. Yeah, we we running a bit low on food. <laughs> Concern. Let's see what's currently <laughs> in the old uh, in the old fridge. I think I saw a few gallons sort of... of water. There is an arm. Oh. Hey, don't bite it. It's mine. <laughs> is there is there a ration formula or something? Um, if you have a ration, I believe that's, um, you know, it should tell you on there how long it lasts for. I forget. Okay. I will check. Cool. I did also find a new, I do need some uh, stuff. potions, arrows. Yeah. I did find a new crafting uh, table as well, if you want to craft something specific, because a lot of it just it takes too long. I'm like, you already craft stuff so fast. But a more thorough crafting menu if you want to craft things bigger. I'm crying. <laughs> Why are you crying? Okay. Um. Any any other business, gang? What awesome. Of? What's it? So, who wants to earn themselves a D? Hmm. D8 of inspiration for summarizing what happened last week. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a pretty simple one, you guys. <laughs> um, last time. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess I get a point of inspiration. Maybe Marco as well. Oh, I would Marco. love to hear yours, Marco. Marco, would you like um, to hop in Discord and and, and give us a <laughs> Marco, you wanna hop on Discord and give us a quick summary? What happened? <laughs> well type type out. I mean they are the winner of the quiz. Oh Marco working. Marco doing, get off work and do the things. Yeah, quick your job and <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> last time. Last time on Tales of the Torn Veil. Saying it like a Wallace and Gromit character with this music in the background for some reason. Um, last time, the group remained stuck, still finding their way in the wildernesses of Nil. Where is this voice come from? Hello? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, they were on the hunt, they saw many a strange and new landscape. To cut to the chase, so to speak, on their encounters and various meetings with ominous, uh, dark, magical creatures and strange nil folk trying to cross rivers. The group made it to this almost undersea location. A, an ocean surface above them, but no water in the lands that they trod. These giant parts of seaweed and corals and the reflections of some dim light from beyond the water dancing on the sandy floor. 
Oh, that's pretty good. They found themselves. Pretty much. They found themselves facing a large frog like opponent. And after vanquishing it, they s saw a somewhat familiar sight. A portal not unlike the one that they have seen Danny come through. Except Danny was already there. No, indeed, the person who stepped from the portal was indeed Briarly Throws. A face both Camellia and Danny found some fear and potentially terror in. An unexpected visit. Before conversations could fully take hold. Another impossibility seemingly occurred. A huge crystalline dragon. Skeleton wrapped by these gemstones and iridescent crystals. Landed before them. Various voices appealing to the different party members, but all managing to find enough strength to focus and push it away. Potentially the first dragon sighting in thousands of years of existence. Maybe even ever. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> um... Once the battle was done, the dragon unvanquished flew away, and the party came down from the thrill of the fight and had some small conversations as they headed to a cave for the night. Hey, yo, that must be bribed. Nice. And we will be picking up. We've technically had the long rest, but it is time. There is time before the long rest for any conversations and such, should you wish. But otherwise, oh, welcome back. Details of the Torn Veil. Vale. Could not have planned that with the music any better if I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too much of a. too entertained by small things to not like just say something in those moments i could be really cool and like not look at the explosion but i'm just like oh my fucking god it's such a cool explosion <laughs> uh, <laughs> so was it this one please say it was this one maybe oh. sure this one's chill so, you've all returned to camp. Oh, Marka. <laughs> or as Marka puts it, uh, find door, imp go kaboom. Yep, it did. <laughs> Ludo uh -huh. pants go kaboom, indoor, fight big froge, fight bigger froge. Um, that was a deleted scene, but it did, let's just say it canonically happened because the frog ate the smaller frog and then, yeah. Um, we have to cut it for time. <laughs> Mama throws, <laughs> enters like Darth Vader, big dragon with people inside. If I ever join the chat, I become canon in the universe and we can't have that, can we? Well, uh, it's what gets complicated. But yes. Welcome in. And welcome back. So, we start off, um, if you were all happy to, uh, the evening before the long rest. Uh, you see that um, Lumir and Kinry are off to the side um, next to the still unconscious Colm um, and Briarly has taken uh, Danny off to the side for a seemingly private conversation. What would you all like to do this evening? 
just go to bed. Very valid option. Uh, Camellia would like to talk to the group. Okay. Good for it. Uh, oh, my, my mom's here now. Yeah. You always acted kind of scared about her, but... I don't know, she seems kind of okay. <laughs> She's a higher up at a business. She has to know how to save face. But, oh. I, I mean... There's something I need to tell you guys that is kind of the reason why I'm scared of her, even though I'm not scared of her. Just... Uh... I ran away from home. And didn't tell anyone. Not even my mom. I, I honestly didn't have a plan when I left. I kind of just ended up in your realm. And found myself with you guys and here now. I'm sorry, I, I should have told you sooner, but <laughs> a lot's happened. Uh, you don't gotta tell us if you don't want to, but I'm glad you did. How long ago did you run away from home? Uh, same day you guys found me in jail? Your first day run away from home, you go to jail? I mean, it... it you're not wrong. Okay. Mm. Congratulations. <laughs> and okay. why did you run away? What happened? I... Um... How would you guys feel if everything in your life was planned out for you? Every decision, every detail, everything an entirely straight path through life, and you had no say in it whatsoever. Oof. No thank you. Yeah, that's kind of... That's kind of what happened. Uh, my entire life has kind of been about the Fragmentium, and I... I didn't like that, really. And so, I ran away. What are you doing, Anna? Working on my dating profile. Want to oh see? Oh my god. I think Sorry, that's me. there is an yeah, ad. How do you sleep at night? On a temper pedic mattress. <laughs> Please ignore In Anna incredible. and her temper pedic mattress. <laughs> Sorry. Some fey, strange Nilly's magic <laughs> echoes <laughs> from in the distance. Temper mattress. <laughs> Turns into a monster after and runs away. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like a valid reason to escape uh, such a place. Uh, I mean, I don't think any of us is going to judge you for that, so don't worry. So this is your first time seeing her since you left? Yeah. I, I was gonna send a note home or something, but I just... I didn't even know what to say. Uh, the, do you want to go back home? Not really, but Danny's in trouble now because I asked him to keep my secret and I don't want to trouble you guys with that either. Hmm. As I see. he says this, oh. you see a portal form and um over by where Danny and uh Briarly are speaking and Briarly kind of nods to Danny who nods back and he makes his way through and it closes behind him He's in trouble because of me now. Well, Danny's a grown man. He made his decision. 
I wouldn't mind being in trouble if it meant helping you too, you know? If you don't want to go, you don't gotta go. You see that. So I have a question for you. Um, did you talk about this with your mother? About leaving? About not wanting to go through that path. Uh, making your own choices and having your own life. <laughs> you don't think I've tried? Anytime I brought up anything, it kind of just turned into a lecture about the importance of the fragmenting. My part and role in it, and I just... I don't know, I just got tired after a while. Well, then it's pretty obvious that uh, you have decided your own path and she has to respect that. Mm -hmm. We got your back. Don't worry. Thank you. I really do want... You, you got cut off. What was it? I really do want... What? I really do want to stay with you guys. <laughs> well, um, then, uh, I think you can. I mean, um, unless your mother is going to force you to go back, uh, I don't think... Uh, and if she tries, uh, you know, we can just... Uh, I'm not uh, in favor of beating up... Uh, Mothers, but, uh, you know, uh, if you need uh, protection, we can protect you. I hope it won't get to that, but thank you. Beef, on while they're talking, you notice um, Small heavily side-eyeing the conversation with vested interest, um, but is trying to look very uninterested, uh, though is failing miserably. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything to say to her. Just, just looking at her. <laughs> she kind of sees you looking and looks away. And a couple of seconds later, kind of Looks back. Just blinking. <laughs> Just kind of raises a hand. Gentle wave. Familiar? Mm -hmm. Familiar. Does this look familiar to you? Oh. To, to me? Yeah. She kind of scoots over on her butt, <laughs> just <laughs> like she's been waiting for an invite over. Um, well, I was, you know, I'm not, I'm not, you know, personally advocating for the, for uh, the beating up of mothers, but sometimes, you know, maybe, possibly, don't tell her I said this, maybe it's necessary. Um, but... Having been down a similar route as you, Camellia, I, uh, I understand. I do, and it, it it's hard, you know, because moms can be scary. No, like, in a bad way. <laughs> and, and, and I'm not calling your mom scary uh, but, at, at all. But, but, but um... It, it's, it's hard. Yeah. And, and I... Give, give you uh, some advice. Uh, but, but, but I don't know how I would say... I uh, don't get caught better, <laughs> then that sounds mean, and I don't want to be mean or come across, across as mean, 
Um, although I did say it, so I am sorry uh, if y y you took offense to that. Um, None taken. This was really... I didn't expect her to find me like this. Yeah. I I can only imagine what that's like. Uh, my mom hasn't been following you, has she, by the way? Not to detract from... from... I doubt Mental that I've noticed. Issues. Recently, at least. Uh, I think last time we talked to your mom, she saved our lives, and we got really mad at her, and then she got really mad oh. at us, and then... Oh. that was it. Uh, that, uh, that, that, that sounds about right. Yeah. So... Your mom is, like, trying to force you into a very specific way of life that you, like, not down for? Yeah, she wants me to work in a business company back home in the Fey Realm, and... Oh. Yeah. Like in, like an office? I mean, she oversees everyone, so she's kind of everywhere, but I... Would really rather not. And plus, it can make her kind of... <laughs> kind of scary sometimes. Camellia, I might have an idea. Hmm. She, like, puts a small hand on your... On your wrist. <laughs> tiny, tiny baby gnome hand. <laughs> um... I have read an incredible book. It, even though it didn't have any giants in it, it was a really good book. And it was called The Most Peculiar of Ten Days, right? And the whole plot... No, wait, was it that one? No, it isn't The Most Peculiar. It's by... It's like a similar premise to that. Um... Oh, uh, I can't remember the name, but... Uh, so... There are these two people, right? They're the sisters. And... Um... They're both, like, noble dwarves or something. And... But they both look really alike. And and they're, like, so sick of the lives that they're living. So what they do is they swap places. So... I could put on some antlers... And come work in an office... And, and learn... And I can work on my impersonation of you. And then you can go to my home and be a really famous giant slayer. Uh, Do you think anyone would notice? She looks at her <laughs> at Small, who is very much smaller, <laughs> and just goes, I, I think they might catch on eventually. What? It's a bad idea, Small. <laughs> But, 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 but wait, wait, what if, what if I do, what if I do this? Hi, I'm Camellia Thro... Th throws. Eh? Oh, that's pretty good. Thank you. Camellia, how'd you get over there? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Small canonically rolling really badly is incredible. Um, she genuinely thinks she's done a good job. Wait, you oh. think you think there's some? You think this could hold some water, Ludo? No, no, not at all. Oh, don't you don't have to lie to me. No, I'm just I was just you're still with big you. and strong. I I get what you're saying. <laughs> Wait, Camellia, are you like a baby? Like, I don't know. To dear people, are you, like, baby age? I mean... In... I did the conversions before. I'm about... 19-ish? In your guys' Like, ah. lifespan? Okay. Yeah, yeah you're, a, you're an adult. You should be allowed to make your own decisions. Go anywhere you want. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, if you're, like, a little... Like a little baby, then maybe you should go with your mother, but... No, do what you want. If you wanna 
come around, save the world with us, get in a bunch of trouble, kidnap children. Wait, You're welcome what? to. What was that last? What was that last thing? Oh yeah, Kenry's not supposed to be here. I, I don't know. It's that pat him on his head. Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, he's speaking to a Lumiere, and he's next to unconscious Colm. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll just like point over there. Wait, so you kidnapped? Uh, took him by accident, but yeah, basically. Does that hold any juice in a court of law? Can what is accidentally kidnap someone? What is court of law? You haven't been to a court of law? Uh, what is that? I don't know whether to be shocked or impressed. Well, I, I've never been to Cordoba, but I don't know. I was trying to protect him because her because we were, you know, under attack. So I put her in the bridge. But then next thing you know, I wake you up. Right. I'm I down think, here. I think, I think I think he's a boy. Oh, what shit? Is he? Yeah. Is he? Okay. Yep. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> we could wait for them to turn into a werewolf and then turn them upside down and see what parts they have. <laughs> wait, can you tell? Can you gender a werewolf by doing that? Uh, no. I was just making a joke. It's actually way too furry to tell. <laughs> oh, wait, how do you know that? I have so many questions but i don't mean to pry and you guys can ask me anything too not that i have anything of particular interest you're gonna be mad mm -hmm. if one of us kills your mom she kind of <laughs> squints her eyes and there's a longer than expected pause it would depend on the circumstances Okay, I think one of us here promised that they're gonna kill your mom, but I don't know. That's good enough for me. <laughs> but, 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 but why are you killing her? Because she tried be to kill us. I mean, I, it's why only fair to return to... the favor, right? Why did she try to kill you? I forget. What well, was that? We were competing and she just shot arrows at us and oh. one pierced my shoulder and it wasn't really nice you know you were you were in the uh in the festival of the hunt in in the 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 what that one place exactly but it's a competition you can't take that personal but that was against the rules we weren't supposed to be attacking each other let alone shooting arrows <laughs> oh no, no my mom would probably wouldn't attend the festival of hunting if it didn't involve some form of attacking at the players. Well, someone is going to have to teach you a lesson. What? What? Like in archery? Because she knows archery pretty good already. Uh, just keep Bluto's words in mind. <clears throat> okay. At least, like, give me a heads up if you're thinking about Killing my mom. If that's okay. It's it's okay if not. Like I understand you guys are really busy. Really busy. Um. She still has time to apologize. Okay. But time is yeah. running out. Yeah. She doesn't. She doesn't tend to apologize for stuff. And, and you know, uh, like my dad says, expectations are just premeditated. Uh premeditated uh issues your dad's still alive oh yeah he's great why no reason camellia you don't have to like marry some rich kobold or something like that like it's just work for no. the company yeah hmm do you get dental yeah, enough reason for me uh, yeah, I mean, everything's covered because of how big the fragmentium is. 
Oh yeah. I love, I love that Camellia's like, I don't know really what the Fragmentium do, but they do have really good dental. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. What is the Fragmentium? That's you want to explain? Because <laughs> Rubes doesn't know that well. <laughs> <laughs> to your knowledge... Um, roll a hit- roll a what the fucking history check for me, please, <laughs> Camellia. We've been playing the and nobody been rolling! That's true, and it'll be a second point tomorrow. Uh. Exhaustion doesn't go away after a long rest? It does if the lingering cause isn't still there. Oh, what's the lingering cause? None of your business. Oh, damn. I'm bad. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that's something you could ask. <laughs> I don't mind. Okay. <laughs> just, just holding my tea like a villain. <laughs> just like, you don't get to know. I can, uh, <laughs> I can ask. Camille, you I noticed you've been getting disadvantaged ask. in all your roles lately. <laughs> you can roll a general perception or medicine or arcana check see what's going on with Camellia. If Camellia ever says she's fine, you can press X to doubt and roll that bitch. You know, any of them. Okay. And many uh, valid options. Let, let's, let's, uh, maybe after they answer the question. Mm -hmm. Nine. With a nine? The, 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 even the full name of the uh, company is not immediately, it doesn't immediately come to mind. Um, I've or, or I have also forgotten it. Ironically, um, the Zitzer Eklat Fragmentium, um, you know, is its full name. Uh, you forget the full Sylvan translation is like a whole. It's a whole thing. Um, but you know, at their core, they claim to be kind of a uh, um, capitalistically minded archivist organization so they send their fragmenteers out into the world into the realms into other realms probably if you're lower down in the ranks uh depending on the importance of the realm um danny being put in isafray says to you that the fragmentium doesn't think highly of the uh important global artifacts of isafray um, and they are to bring back any uh, items, artifacts of interest or import, either for pres well, usually for preservation, um, occasionally for trading, and or any potential use um, by the Fey courts and such. Thank you, disembodied voice. Intergalactic so. thieves. Got what it. the DM said. <laughs> So they're both they're they're both capitalistic, but also seemingly yeah, pull that shit. Um, Whoa! Capitalistic. <laughs> <laughs> Spilling tea over here. Hell yeah! Um, they're both capitalistic, but also with like an archivist um, function, kind of like the Fey version of the British Museum. I like yeah. to think. Oh. If it's a <laughs> if it was a corporation, kind of those vibes. But so your less colonial. mother is not the boss. So where does she rank? Uh, she's kind of like second to the boss. Second to the boss. Yep. <laughs> really gotcha. high up. Wait, so they don't? They just go around and take stuff on all the different what? planets? Uh, Camille, you would know the uh, phrase is. Um, procurement for advanced research purposes. Yeah. <laughs> she does Relays that. that to the team. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Are they hiring? Mm. I always. <laughs> yeah, but I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, okay. Not very fun, huh? Mm, you've seen how Danny's been. Um, Ludo, it's worth mentioning. You've also seen how Zab has been. Zab seemed like a really fun guy. 
It's true. <laughs> we'll keep that and as you, a little mental note. They, they work at the fragment. <laughs> oh, wait, uh, Camelia, how come you can't just, you know, maybe make your, your sisters or your brother take over? How come your mother makes it has to be you? Oh, oh it's, it's only me. I don't have any family other than my mom. What? Mm-hmm. There's only one deer in that family? Just one little deer baby? I... I mean, I'm... I don't know if you guys could tell, but I'm adopted. Oh! Yeah, I thought maybe your dad was like a, a moose or something. <laughs> no, no, no dad, it's just me and mom. No dad, just you and mom. Oh my god, no wonder she wants you to be just like her. My god. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, you know, I want you to do whatever you want to do. And it sounds like maybe she can be pretty scary. But it uh, also sounds like maybe she misses you. You know, I don't think you should go with her, but uh, maybe you don't have to part in bad terms. Tell her you see her soon. Uh, you know, do you have like deer winter festival? Some kind of maybe some kind of grazing holiday. I'm. I am the only deer there. Oh. And, yeah. Like a deer Halloween. <laughs> but, yeah. I, I I want that. I don't want her to be mad at me and I don't want to be scared of her finding out all this. Yeah, I'll I'll talk to her. Okay. Good luck. You see her kind of mooching around camp, not distinctly um kind of close enough to pay any attention or listening in. Um, but it's it's possible she could definitely get close enough to begin maybe hearing things. So you can either move the conversation slightly further away, but it would be noticeable, or call it for the evening. And there'll be plenty more time to chat. You're in the wilderness of Nil. Who knows how long you'll be here? Um, and yes, does anyone have any rations? <laughs> <laughs> or food what are you doing, to Anna? speak. We're gonna oh my god, it's Anna you? again in the dating profile. Me, Stop it! Every every that? time you uh, if chat's hearing this out strength. as well, you just hear just you hear these strange noises, and then <laughs> all of them just descend into monster noises. Just and you too can <laughs> and just scurries off into the into the distance through the bushes. And if not, that happens anyway. <laughs> I haven't been to the bathroom properly in years. Not since I've used... <laughs> Neil has the advertising team monsters too. <laughs> no one wants to drive me crazy. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Uh, they do, they do be do, they do be do that. They do be do. They do be do. Ethan just walking through the forest of no, just hearing liberty, 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 <laughs> liberty, 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 liberty. <laughs> and it's like, did I just hear liberty? And it's like, liberty, liberty. And it's just like every time you look, the birds just like look in a different way. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's all right. Oh my god. <laughs> but uh, like like Bifon said, uh, we have your back. You know. Thank you you want to go talk to her now? Maybe it's a good time before things get crazy again. Uh, I I think I can save it for the morning. I'm really tired. Okay. Um, 
Lumiere finishes speaking with Kinry and kind of stands up and stretches, walks over. So, how's everyone doing? We recovered from the dragon. Yep. We saw a dragon. We fought a dragon. So, did, did it follow you? And that's why it came here? Or was that just pure unfortunate circumstance? I don't know, they seem to be talking about, um, some old hero or something. I think it's probably more connected to here. You wouldn't know anything about that? Some old hero? Oh, there are plenty of those any place you go. Did you hear any names, particularly? I don't quite remember, but apparently somebody that once was and isn't again... Or, what did I just say? Somebody that once was and isn't again? No, 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 scratch that. Oh. No, someone who once was a hero. Right. I don't know, it sound like the, uh, wisps, wisps and stuff around here want freedom from something. I have no idea, I figured you'd tell us. Um, uh, what? <sighs> The difficulty is, I unfortunately, um, you know, by, uh, by Nilly's law, it is, uh, illegal to claim that you are a tour guide of Nil, at least in the wilderness. Uh, this is because it changes all the time. Uh, you may become accustomed to the frogs singing the songs of lullabies you'd hear as a child. The birds singing songs of liberty. Does it often change to accommodate a dragon? That was a that was a dragon. I don't know if you noticed. No, no, that that that, that that's new. That's new. That's incredibly new. Um. However, it changes all the time. So to pinpoint specific specificities, uh would be irresponsible and also immoral. Saying that there are certain patterns, so um, the, the person we met yesterday who asked for a moment of our time and the traps and strange underwater kinds of lands that resemble but also don't lands from above. A dragon? The thing is, <sighs> yeah, I'd like to roll a history check. Yeah, of course. What for? Mm, uh, the, 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 the dude that was in the dragon or mm. was a part of the dragon or around the dragon or who was his name again? Who was he? There were three people, three voices within the dragon. Um, well, I rolled a 12, so I'm at least asking for that one. That's what I'm trying to recall. Okay. Um, I do not remember specifically which voice you spoke to, um, but we with there a 12. There were two. I heard the voice yeah. from the dragon itself, who that's the one I'm trying to recall. It was I don't think you the heard voice the of some hero. We actually heard a story about them just before we encountered the dragon. I'm trying to recall oh, the name and what that story was. The Isafrey, not Isafrey, the Isithmal. Illamith. The, the yes, little... Illamith. Thank you. Okay, yeah, Isithmal. Okay. What was the story? I do, do not remember. Uh, the story, uh, from what I recall, <laughs> um, it's like yes. Isithmal was like a hero who became a god, but then in the process got betrayed or something and ended up getting cursed yeah Ugh. that'll do <laughs> something like that yeah, yeah okay sure that's um, what i thought you, reminds yeah, me you... of uh this is a japanese myth about somebody like that too yeah i know what you're talking about oh cool. shit no way cool, cool. um you'll have to fill me in on that after um it's the guy you meet in okami <laughs> oh shit mm. i don't know okami but i'll have to look it up that's cool 
Um, I wonder if that was a subconscious thing or uh, just a one of those fun coincidences of life. That's super cool. I've been having a bad time with names the past couple of days. So. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. With a 12, you would remember their name as Ithithmal. Yes. And you would recall um, Jay-Z speaking about what the little sea angel also said. Ithithmal. That was what I, that was the other thing. I yeah. yeah. So you would recall. I don't know who this third voice is those bits of information yeah you would you would know though that there were there was at least one other distinct voice within the dragon mm. um at least everyone's accounts are different um although piecing that together i'd say with a 12 you would be able to tell that there were three distinct voices um is this mall being mentioned outside of the dragon um it, it's difficult to know the prominency of that like if it was the sea angel was like doing a little um, airline controller person with the lights, kind of like land here um, before being eaten by the frog. <laughs> but um, it certainly that there, there is some feeling of presence of Isith Mal in some shape or form here, whether that's from the dragon, but also seemingly from before the dragon. So Thank it's you. Something maybe worth looking into further, should you be interested. Um, but that is all that would be able to be said on a 12. But it is something. Mr. Zenfro. Mm -hmm. Ever heard of It's a Small? Because I think they may be more connected here than. I don't think they're just some <gasps> apparition of Nil. I think they might be a part of this place. You lucky son or of residing. a bitch. Um, you lucky son of a bitch. It's a small. I, I must, I must say, with a 20, Illumia has been noticing some strange things going on recently. <laughs> I loved it. I thought that was Alamir um, talking for a second. I was going to be like, yeah. <laughs> With a twenty, he might not. Exactly. He he might not be the kind of person to speak in the third person, but maybe if he's like really excited about something, he might. Um, you might be onto something. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I. Isith Mal, you say? Yeah. I I must say that name has been coming up more and more often. You don't say. Oh, I I do. Uh, in various bits and bobs that I've been seeing or hearing, um, I mean, what what would you like to know? I'm 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 on a thought, a train of a, a steam wagon of thought here. I what what? what Sorry, you visions of like something called know? Clinique are blocking my mind right now. Um. <laughs> <laughs> who are they? They, who is is it? Mom? And if you know who they are, what would they have to do with this place or that dragon? <sighs> is it Mom? Is the oh the storm? You've all heard the theory of the world's beginning, correct? Just blank oh, faces. It's been a long day. <laughs> he would explain. Roll a history check. <laughs> Please do. Feel free. I'm. I'm curious. Is the Bifon's Bifon taking nice. this moment to be star student. <laughs> oh, Bifon has a perfectly dirty twenty. Nineteen Ooh. plus one. You would remember uh, the theory, specifically one that uh, Mistress Eterin mentioned back on Ash Sky. That mm. memory. Um, where she explained that there was a theory that at the beginning of at the beginning of the world, um, that we know of, um, there was some kind of calamity that wrought destruction on the entire world, and a group of people, um, somehow managed to bring the world back together by appealing to the ancient gods that. No one's really been able to contact, obviously, until um, you were enlisted onto this mission, and uh, your 
has been the main um, celestial Skype caller <laughs> for uh, for the organization of the Espers, um, and this has been supposedly a mission set by these ancient ones that wove the world back together um, with this arcane fiber and protected it with the veil that has been torn. Um, and there was a group, and within that group, you have heard various theories, either from walking around, um, probably mostly from walking around, um, the Ninut guild halls, primarily kind of as Etirin and, um, that gang have been talking. And one of the theories goes that this group of people... Um, once they were able to appease, appease and appeal to the Ancient Ones to repair the world, were the first humans, or uh, adjacent, to achieve deitydom. However, <laughs> with the nature of humans, and p humans achieving deitydom, uh, there were arguments and spats. And as you're thinking about this, you 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 and <laughs> you and Illumi are kind of look like both really focusing and thinking about this, and you're kind of just looking at each other like the vibes begin to connect, the but like all the threads begin to make sense. Because within that group of humans, there was a betrayal. And supposedly that person who betrayed the group, or an outlier of the group, was banished and punished for their misdeeds. Their name was Isithmar. Ith you know what he did? Blue's favor. I mean, some have theorized how would you lose the respect of a group that you saved the world with? What could one have done? Perhaps... My personal theories <laughs> lie in a place of perhaps Isseth Mal sought to abuse the powers given to them by the Ancient Ones. Perhaps Erseth Mal did something to frustrate the Ancient Ones and it was they who banished Erseth Mal, but there is no certainty to speak of. That soundeth legit, though. I thank you, Fee. So, with the presence of Isseth Mal being so poignant here, potentially, one has to wonder if there is any information perhaps nearby Perhaps, oh, perhaps nearby as to Isseth Mal's fate, or indeed Isseth Mal's whereabouts. I mean, is there something here? There might be. We need to get out of here. We can't be looking for something like that. However, I am really interested. I know not what mission you adventurers are on. Indeed, Neither do what, we. what you search for, what your goals are. Discovering the fate of Isseth Mal and whether Isseth Mal is indeed real, alive, or their remains lay somewhere. 
that would make for quite the lucrative lucrative fame and accommodation and honestly with what what we do know about what we are here to do I can't help but feel that they're somewhat connected that it, he kind of shrugs that is for you to know my friend I am here to escort you safely to the next city, to the next town. If you ever require uh, some form of, not tour guide, obviously, but um, assistance to navigate, Mill. Well, how do you get through here? Can you just sort of follow your nose? <sighs> it, it is a hard thing to describe. It is. Uh, I've been told it is akin to when one has an allergy. Um, I, I, I met a um, lovely uh, hummingbird folk once uh, called Sarah, and she was deathly allergic to peanuts. And she apparently could sense, just sense, when there were peanuts nearby. Like, within, an, you know, a few rooms in distance or a few meters and was able to you know generally avoid any contact with them because of that sense making your way through you nil can... is finding yes. the areas where there aren't peanuts if that makes gotcha. sense gotcha yeah do you think you could lead us toward a former god that i must admit i'm not so sure about uh, but once we get back to the city for provisions and whatnot, I'm sure I could try and get some stuff together and talk to some folk. You may, may, may find some people there who have done some research in this or have more um, knowledge akin to any lingering ancient deities from the beginning of uh, the worlds as we know it <laughs> who may be able to assist you. Sure. All right. But I would love to come along. That sounds very exciting. Well, continue what you were doing, but if you pick up anything, let me know. Oh, um, yes, of course. I was just going to, um... I only came over to ask what uh, dinner dinner was going to be. The, um, yellow rice the other night was really lovely. That's not my department. Just kind of eyes Luto. <laughs> Beefon goes Waves. Like, back to lay on his mushroom. <laughs> yeah, it's just comfy waterbed mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Any last business for the night from the gang? Hey, Beefon, so you think we might be staying down here for a while trying to find that god thing? Well, that's, um... It's up to our friend over there, see what his uh, senses detect. But other than that, we're still trying to get out of here. Okay. I was thinking, since uh, it sounds like they're going to leave the next time we hit a city, how, how do you all feel if uh, well, maybe we ask uh, lovely Mrs. Strauss if she would be kind enough to stop by... Uh, the village where Kinry's from. Drop him off. Uh, I'm all fine with adventuring. I just don't want to bring a kid around. Maybe get him in danger. Uh, mm. I can ask her tomorrow if she can drop off Kinry. I'd like that. Mm. Maybe get the, that old man out of here too. Yeah. She has the power to get them out of here now. Yeah, let's do so. If not, let's uh, hurry out. And yeah, I guess she could take care of the rest. Yeah. I mean, if we're not leaving, if we're staying here longer, I guess we'll find out. Well, I don't know. Can she get us out of here? 
Where's Danny? Uh, I think Danny got sent back to work. Can she give us a ride? I... I, I think... Hmm. I know the portals back home only really connects between the Fey Realm and here, so I don't know if she's able to teleport to where Kinry is from. But again, well, I, I can ask. Okay. Are you going to ask her tonight or in the morning? Uh, just out of curiosity, there, it's not a loaded question. Or is it? Just, no, it's not. I'm just picturing Frazzled Camellia right now. Wait, yeah, so what does Briarly look like turns. if if she's not, like, race-wise, what does she look like if she's not a deer push person? Um, that is a good question. Uh, work in progress. Um, okay. I imagine very much humanoid, uh, very... Very long, very, you know, stereotypical elvenish, um, kind of very light on her feet. Um, yes, feet. Um, uh, <laughs> kind no, of please. always, always just kind of on like Barbie tiptoes, but without any kind of weight or stress to it. Um, like a very light and nimble feeling to her movements but also equally very um kind of stoic and alert like it's it's very smooth and very swift but very um purposeful in terms of her movement and kind of her build on top of that um her skin itself has kind of the golds and various tiny gemstones inlaid within it um as if she was just purely born like that um and that goes from head to toe ah, court of extravagance baby i was gonna say yeah it's um, extravagant mm -hmm. very extravagant um yeah i i would imagine like a lot of the clothing you're not quite sure where the skin ends and the clothing begins it's almost like petals um kind of large fuchsia or um no, fuchsia's the one. Uh, like, kind of like large fuchsia petals around the sleeves and the bust area. Um, it kind of turns into this stronger, but again, very light, slightly on the darker side uh, armor. Okay, so to Ludo, he, she might seem kind of alien, kind of like a race he's never seen before. Oh, absolutely. Um, cool. Ludo will have seen fey folk before, but fey folk very wildly. Um, uh, case in point, Danny the Dapper Dwarf, Community of Throws. Um, <laughs> um, but um, he wouldn't, I don't think, explicitly have met someone from the Court of Extravagance before, and they themselves are just decorative. <laughs> um, and very, very, yeah, elegant and presented and gilded. Extravagant exuberant all of that good stuff whereas other fae still really pretty and cool but sometimes more nightmarish sometimes just more strange and not quite humanish or humanoid features just Based slightly askew <laughs> yeah um but in D, &D technicalities she would class under something akin to an eladrin mm. okay if that is any help. <laughs> the long and then the easy answer. <laughs> long and easy. Happy Valentine's Day. Hell. <laughs> but yes. So you all settle down to camp for the night? After your, I believe you were cooking rice and presenting it in the crab shell that you found. <laughs> From what you said last week. Um... Incredible. Um, I feel like I just that need everything show... to end like that now. <laughs> Y'all want to go and hang out, have some drinks in the crab? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the crab shell is going to become like one of those items where it's the final boss fight. It's this really poignant moment. And Ludo's just going to go, DM, I'm going to 
I'm gonna use the crab shell, and I'm like, <laughs> wait, no, wait, no, <laughs> wait, no, don't do it. <laughs> I didn't think about the crab shell. <laughs> but yes, with that, you will get the long rest that you've already technically had, but that's okay. Uh, hang on. 300 health and succumbing to a seafood allergy. <laughs> we love it. Oh, I've lost the, I've lost the, I've lost the CP music. I've lost the sleepy music now. <laughs> Damn it. No. I have oh, like okay. mysterious, ed, like wandering music right now. Yes, that's, that's right. I, okay. I know I have a, I have like a little Final Fantasy like, blue, 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 I can't find, oh, I know where it is, do I? <laughs> we need to like, we need to make like a soundboard with like a bunch of these sounds so we can like play it in a way that everybody could hear it. For real. Like, well, this one it should be. For heard. example, uh, this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just about to play a duck. <laughs> there we go. Honk, honk. Oh, that's just me. <laughs> My bad. I thought that was going to be a goose. <laughs> yeah, that was a goose. That was a goose. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I don't know why I have that. Sorry. <laughs> JC uses goose. <laughs> it's a surprise, but super effective. <laughs> it's super effective. JC is surprised. <laughs> Damn it, I can't even find the fucking sleepy tune I made. I'm fucking mad. Alright. This one. It's weird. Some of them are being labeled as inappropriate for age restrictions. I'm like, why? They're wait, really wait. not. Bef before we go to sleep, uh, DM, uh, yes. the, yes. the duck sound that you made, was that just for testing I the did, sound board? I or did was it... not. I did not make that. Oh, okay. All right. Just checking. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know where it came from. <laughs> it was just, I guess, a duck flying overhead. I promise you. Okay. But if someone was trying to suggest, hey, oh, maybe there's treasure there. It's very possible. <laughs> but it was not. All right. Let's, let's rob okay, Camellia's mom. What? <laughs> it's treasure. Who else would have it? Okay, and um, you all get. I got a fifteen for stealth. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Do you all get a long night's rest? This is the question. Yes, we do. I feel like that's your oh, decision. Right. Forgot, the way you said that. I, I forgot Can that be, before we go to sleep. Before we go to sleep. Uh. Uh. Oh, hey, Camelia. I noticed you look kind of tired lately. You all right? It's because your mom's here. Uh, no, there's, uh, there's no sun, and I'm a sun satyr. Oh, what about this? Bing! Your horn is now emitting light. Does that help? Uh, slight flashbang effect for the first uh. second or so. <laughs> um, <laughs> when it hits suddenly, it hits strong. Uh, just... Just that like piercing white noise sound. Um, it is sadly not natural sunlight, and so it is. Well, it is now somewhat easier to see your immediate surroundings, kind of because the no light now. is very bright. <laughs> yeah, you would need to drop concentration. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. It, it, it does not uh, immediately help. It's not no, good. I, no, I need my actual son. Um, ah. if if he doesn't if he doesn't drop the spell, you know, there's a really easy way to get a mage to drop <laughs> concentration. <laughs> And that is to whack him. <laughs> I dropped the spell. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Clumsy. Sorry. Sorry. Just tried. Oops. <laughs> okay. No. I could leave all these goddamn spells everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, for God's sake, spells are technically all contained on Lego bricks. So, <laughs> ah! <laughs> or my new D4 dice, I have been impaled by. Um, oh, no. That will be added oh, no. to bingo next week. Oh. They are they are sharp dice. I have mm, already stabbed it. myself on the D4 like three times. <laughs> <laughs> no. and it's worth it i would bleed for my girl and my new dice um anyway you all oh, get don't do that some hellraiser um dice. camellia despite almost getting flashbanged you get a long rest <gasps> yay tarquin you get a long rest yes. and oh nice you, and you dream of dragons I'm uh, befriending dragons. <laughs> and other dragons. Platonically dragon. or beyond platonically, that is up to you. <laughs> and My up business. to you how much you share. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you want to roll a dream constitution check, you certainly may. Oh my god. Um... <laughs> I'm, fine. I'm fine. No, thank you. <laughs> Raccoons can fit <laughs> in a hole. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I meant inches, not feet. No. Beef on. <laughs> Beef on. Mm? You get a long rest. Mm. See, now I just want a raccoon dragon. Wouldn't that be so cool? Yes. A good you, hey, dragon. You, hey, a uh, little secret. You can, you uh -huh. can do that. I know I can. You can do it. You can do whatever you like. <laughs> Thank you. So so much. You can give us all. Are you trying we to can wake butter up. me up. We can wake up and all have uh -huh. dra dracoons. Thank you, Roxy. We can all have dracoons in the morning. <gasps> yeah. Just a horde of trash. <laughs> um. Yeah. Friends will get a nice long rest. Uh, Combs only been having long rests. Um. And of course. Winnie also gets a long rest, as does Ludo Bayani. Uh, <laughs> you are safe. You don't need to butter me up, but the buttering up is appreciated. I'm very squishy this week. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> La fellow Vani comfort. Uh, <laughs> Space hamster riding a jacoon. Yes, we still haven't had canonical... I've been using gerbils like a casual. If anyone manages to get that in dialogue naturally. Oh, is that the line? Damn. That is the line. I've been using gerbils like a casual. The best part of the terrible film. Um, I have not Oh. <laughs> but you all awake, presumably early in the still dark morning, to the sound of a clang. And, uh... <laughs> And you see, um, as you kind of come to quite quickly, uh, Alumir just <sighs> really must find a sleeping potion for the poor man. Uh, as he looks down at a now once again unconscious Cole. Um, as Briarly also wakes up, um, almost Dracula style, just sitting upright <laughs> from the mushroom she was sleeping on. I do have the sleep spell. Oh! Um, well, why didn't you say... And he kind of sees her glance at him and just... Why didn't you say that later so I would remember easier to ask you to do that tomorrow morning? <laughs> oh, she's terrifying. Uh, <laughs> kind of, like, gets himself back, back on track. And uh, starts packing up his stuff. Um, Kinry's still just refusing to move out of his blanket. Um, and uh, you'll see that Small is she's cooking. She's cooking something with a little uh, Bunsen burner and flask. Um, and the morning question mark uh, is yours. Sure, Marco. Marco, roll a d chat. Everybody, roll a d four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And if it's more than ten, he dies. Oh my god. Jesus. One. No, it's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Roll a one. <laughs> nah, he'll be Now we're right. gonna lose Uncle Ding Dong. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Kling Clang. <laughs> 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 Should I got a four? Rock three has murdered Colm. <laughs> only, I, only in this world has Rock three murdered Colm. <laughs> Not canonically in the game, but Rock three has murdered Colm, and it's worth knowing. Can't believe you do that, Rock three. That's so rude. That's incredibly strong and powerful and mean of you. Um. <laughs> no. Okay, that was the only four. He's all right. He's he's alive in all worlds. <laughs> Rocks restart start rolling uh, <laughs> death saving throws for him. Three d twenties. Okay. So the uh, morning question mark of darkness is yours. Oh, Camellia, my darling, you do unfortunately have a second point of exhaustion. Yay! Would you like to tell us what that does? I'm sorry. Uh, that means I have to roll everything at disadvantage, right? I believe Including, so. like, attack. Yeah. 11, 15, and a 6. <gasps> He's alive. <laughs> You're good. Roxy didn't quite kill him. You just really, you really got him a long rest. <laughs> How many before the coma? Level 4? Uh, level 6 is death. Mm -hmm. Okay, level 6. Cool. Yeah. Just straight death. No rolls. All death. No okay. rolls. All death. Six feet. Blue eyes. <laughs> Finance. No rolls. All death. Finance. <laughs> <laughs> Tesla. <laughs> Mage Tower. Fireball. Mimic. Okay. <laughs> This is this is perfect to this music. <laughs> I chose it for a reason. Um, okay. <laughs> Unconscious frying pan. Uh, Too so, far, man. Sorry. The more... that. Ignore that. Very good. What did you do? What did this you do? Another oh. ad. This is another... What, what was it for? This is for mattress firm. <laughs> Apparently, it was a chicken and a man playing baseball. I don't know. <laughs> nice. Are you guys? Is chat hearing it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Are they like paying us or something? <laughs> or is this it's... free advertising? <laughs> free advertising. It's part of the of the difficulties and insanity and um misfortunes of of the wilderness of of nil you know just sometimes <laughs> they want your you time pestered. they want to sell yeah. you mattress look you <laughs> didn't give them a moment of your time so they are blasting their <laughs> their mimic uh creature adverts at you uh, very clever very clever marketing from uh from the <laughs> inhabitants of Nil. When we reach the exit, we're gonna have to wait five seconds before we can walk through. <laughs> but Skip first. Skip that final ad. <laughs> have you ever been to Nil? It is a beautiful place this time of year. You can do kebabs and get lost in the wilderness. It's great. All right. <laughs> But you all That's wait. actually really accurate, getting an ad for something that you already bought through that service. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just I think you would like one of these. Yeah, no yeah. shit, I bought one last Have week. Have you ever been completely <laughs> fucking lost in the wilderness of Neil? It's like I have actually, yeah. Well you need this one item. Oh really? Yeah, and it's completely free of charge. It's like you're you're just insulting me now. Fuck off. <laughs> Don't wanna know. <laughs> Mm. Oh, but yes, the morning is yours as you all slowly awake. Is there anything y'all would like to do this morning? Uh, and probably. what is for breakfast? Hmm? If there okay. is anything indeed left to have. Well, I, I remember spending a decent amount of, of money, about 10 gold back in Genoa, get some goodies. Okay. 
So I assume I just have random general groceries left. So, uh, yeah. You know, inspired well, by chat. Also, Let's make some. Have uh, we have a goose? All oh. oh, right, we have a goose. The naked goose. Hmm. Yeah, let's do uh, let's do the goose and the, goose wait, and waffles. Is no. the naked goose still alive? No, it's not. Oh, be. it was, and you just put it in the fridge. I remember this. Right. Yeah. Um, you open the fridge, <laughs> and what uh falls out is not a live goose. Yeah. It that is was, still naked, however. That was intentional. Yeah. That was why I did yeah. it. So I take the not alive goose. I make uh, goose and waffles. We have some goose. fried goose. fried goose, or maybe some goose tenders, mm. goose nuggies, <laughs> and uh, waffles. Uh, uh, very important question: Are the geese nuggies in the shape of geese? Yeah. I will need a performance <laughs> check from you, please. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> can I can I intimidate these? Nuggets into the uh, right shape? No, because you killed the nuggies in the fridge by right, method of All asphyxiation. Right. Performance check. If if it's a one, it will be like that episode of Always Sunny where Charlie makes the muscle posters, but they're just phallic. <laughs> yeah, no, I thought they were a dick. Uh, seven. Yeah. They're not very. They're not very goosey. Um. Yeah, it it could be anything with a, a long neck and a body. It could it it could be a man on a stretcher. It could be a goose. It could be a ladle. Some form of a ladle. It, it could be a ladle. <laughs> a giraffe. Um, a, a giraffe. A giraffe. Um, giraffe. <laughs> what the what the fuck are you trying to say? Nothing. A giraffe. What? A giraffe. I'm a ragamuffin. It's giraffe. <laughs> um, Ooh, so cool. you are all... These look like musical notes. Um. <laughs> no, I was thinking they rather much more looked like an uh, alchemical flask. Um, has anyone else seen them? Yeah. 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 Small. Yeah. A okay. little bit. Yeah, a little bit. But, yeah. Not to be... I mean, they're beautiful. Yeah. The, they taste the all right. nuggies. Thank what you. What are they made out of? Goose. She's going to roll an insight check. <laughs> Just from the shape. She's a bit concerned. Uh, That's a three. Be fun. Yeah. What are these made out of? I think it's a goose. I'd have been dead for a little bit. But it was refrigerated. Okay, I trust you. Okay. Cool. <laughs> they are pre they're really good. What shape are these meant to be, Dudo? I mean, it's She's looking like at them like an art critic. <laughs> It's shaped, it's shaped like what it was. It's shaped like a goose. A goose? Yeah, look, and I'll play with one. Make it, like, walk around. Walk on do you Ken, make it, the part in Kenry's hair. Do you, do you make it honk? Once again. Yes, I do. One second. <laughs> honk, honk. Yes, I do. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <clears throat> now, that that wasn't a setup. I didn't know that was there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I legitimately had no idea that was there. Right. Do you make all, all your food in the shapes of other animals and whatnot? No, I just figured since we have a kid here, maybe it will be fun for him. You like your goose nuggets and waffles, Henry? He kind of sits up from bed. It's just hair everywhere. Just on his head. Not like he's not werewolf yet. Okay. <laughs> he's just he's just <laughs> bed head hair. <laughs> bad phrasing, my my bad. Um and he kinda looks at the goose and just eats it out of your hand without picking <laughs> it up. 
Oh, it's pretty tasty. What do you say? It's pretty damn tasty. I'm bapping with a waffle. He he smirks. Ow! He's gonna roll to try and bite it <laughs> as you bap him with it. <laughs> he got he got a thirteen. No, how, pretty how, good. How dexterous is Ludo? Is he gonna let him get a crunch of the waffle? Yeah, sure. Oh. The answer oh. is thank you. You're welcome. Bap him with the, I toss the rest of him at him. Rest of it at him. <laughs> Oh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ruffle his little kinry hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fun. You take a food that's normally supposed to be shaped this way, you shape it another way. Kids like it. Hmm. Have you got any in a normal shape? Hmm. I'll... You don't like the elephant? Yeah. Yep. Oh, as Ludo very aptly said, these are for children. Respect. Ah, come on. I'll snap the neck off a goose. There you go. That's kind of a normal shape. Eat the neck. Her eyebrow raises. Roll a, persu roll a persuasion with advantage. <laughs> it was going to be disadvantage until the next snap. She's <laughs> <laughs> like, hmm. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. This happened. I got double nines. Okay. I mean, it's not a super high roll. <laughs> she's, just, she's still hungry. Um, yeah, she'll just... <sighs> Very big sigh and kind of take it, not make a big deal of it. Mm. This is Briarly? Yes. Ooh, eating my nuggets. <laughs> it is still food. It's somewhat edible. It is indeed. It would be foolish to not eat something in the wilderness. Can your kind have this? It's bird. We... Are... I don't know what aliens eat. Pluto. You said you're from a different planet. Realm. Different realm. Yeah, same thing. Realm, planet. Over there, mm -hmm. far away. They got birds there? Yes. We have birds. Do you eat them? On occasion. And there you go. That's what you're holding right now. It doesn't look like part of a bird. Well, you take the meat, you mush, 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 put in some spices, you wrap it in flour, breadcrumbs, deep fry, goose nugget. I see. I don't understand the point of mushing it. It loses its structural integrity. As a kid, that is nutritional value. Mm, thank you. Mm. Well, I appreciate the nutrition. For now. What do you normally eat on your planet? The Feywild. We boast a lot of similar foods to you. Or so I thought until moments ago. Does the shape bother you? It's not so much the shape, but the. Do you find of... it intimidating? Intimidating? <laughs> yeah. Am I intimidated by a. What was it you nugget. called it? She looks, she looks at Kinry. What was it you called it? Goose Nuggy. Am I intimidated by a goose nuggy? I don't know. Could look like other things. <laughs> a firearm? Perhaps. 
Mm, I am quite at peace with those myself. So no, they do not intimidate me. Oh, be careful if I go off. Part of me hopes it would. She <laughs> <laughs> on their bed. I prepared a uh, um sweetened ketchup a uh, sweetened tomato reduction for Tarquin to dip his goose nuggets into. Oh, oh my god. Yo. <laughs> Mine. So <laughs> Kin Kinry is eyeing up the tomato reduction. I've never heard him so happy. <laughs> it's not oh even in character. That's just that's just Darian. That's Darian, just me every time to... someone tries to take it away from me. Oh my god! What I'm not even there? acting right now. It's just natural. <laughs> what you got there, Tarquin? You see, nothing. Kind of looking. Sure doesn't look like nothing. Get away from me. Can I have some? No. Pretty please. No. Why not? Because it's mine. But don't true gentlemen share with each other? Isn't that I'm what not a true gentleman. would do? But you're a hero well, though, ain't you? Yes, I am. And heroes share. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. <laughs> No, we save lives. We don't share food. But if the people you save starve, then what, that's not really being a hero, is it? Are you starving right now? Yeah. Prove it. <laughs> I don't see you dying. For, he's gonna roll a performance <laughs> check to force his tummy to rumble. <laughs> he got a natural 20! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> he 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 has conned wow. he has conned his own parents and other villagers into thinking he needs more food before this is kind of his shtick um <laughs> he he kind of very gently you don't notice this Tarquin this is just the process behind the look just very gently like sucks in his cheeks so he looks a bit more gaunt kind of just um slows his breathing so he becomes more pallid just finds the right lighting under a very blue mushroom and uh you just hear his tummy just holy shit you weren't kidding um I, nah. I just i feel like just a little a little dip of that yummy sweet Tomato reduction with spices would be what I need to revitalize me. You know, I I hate being such a nice person. There uh, you go. Get, get uh, a, a little bit, just a tiny little bit. If you take more than a <laughs> small portion, uh, I will kill you. <laughs> he, he dabs his, his goose in a respectable, respectful amount and puts his hand on your arm. Hey, goes, not so much. Put it back in. Okay, wipes a bit <laughs> off on the side of the the, the bowl. Mm. Just looks to you and goes, Tarquin? Yes. You, you're my hero. You know, of course I am. <laughs> it's good for you to make you. <laughs> <laughs> now get out of here. Mm -hmm. I have to Thank you, Tarquin. <laughs> uh. Scarper's off. <laughs> You don't feel immediately just... like you've been conned, but it was like... Whatever he oh, did, he totally it really screwed affected me. Yeah, yeah. you. It affected <laughs> you. He outsmarted me right like, there. You're like, even even if he was pretending, that was legit and he kind of earned it. <laughs> but... Yeah, he deserved it. He deserved it. <laughs> I've just been picturing the frustration of Tarquin, like, should I hold this away from him? Because I need to dip. <laughs> Which do I do? <laughs> Which do I do? <laughs> It could have been worse. If it was any lower, it would have been like one of those cats that's like, I'm so asleep on this table right now. Oh, I'm having a dream where my paw is just getting closer and closer <laughs> to your food. Oh, oh, you're looking? Oh, no, I'm asleep. 
I'm gonna sleep meow. I'm gonna sleep meow. Give me one of them fries meow. Oh, no, it was. Oh my god, what happened? I was asleep the whole time. <laughs> but, uh, alas, he got <laughs> wasted a nat 20 on that shit. I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, mean meanwhile, um,. Small is still brewing a, something away on her little Bunsen burner stove. Um, everyone else is eating up their nuggies. She is while she's while she's cooking. And Kinry's just kind of skipping around happily, telling everyone about the amazing sweet tomato reduction with spices he just had. Uh, has, has anyone got really heat resistant hands? No. Do, do hooves count? I don't. I don't know how that works. No. No. Oh, I can't. I would have thought they would. I got oven mitts. Oh, that's perfect. Can you come out this for a sec? I just need to stir it a little bit more, but I'm, I've run out of hands and feet. Okay. You see she's like holding this little campfire stove with her feet and um trying to hold and stir this little vial uh full of clear liquid with her hands but with these big like fireproof gloves on <laughs> and she's really struggling to manage it all. Uh, okay. Could you just could you just hold the vial for me please? Okay. I don't I don't want to screw this up. <laughs> okay. Uh, if it goes blue, run. <laughs> okay? Okay. What, what is this? Oh, uh, it's potion. For? She... Well, hopefully not explosions. Um, hmm. I mean, you see for a second it almost goes to blue. Just a very clear, translucent blue. And then it continues changing color and goes to a red. Ah! It's all done! Thank you! Uh, does anyone need a potion of healing? You might want to let it cool down a bit. It's pretty hot. Yes, please. <laughs> Just like blowing on the... <laughs> blowing on the tip of the vial. Oh, fresh out the oven. <laughs> okay, um, well... Don't burn your hands, but, uh... There's one ready for you. Good job, Small. Thanks. Usually they explode, so <laughs> we were pretty lucky that time. I'm kind of surprised that worked out. Can you imagine if that had exploded? That would have been pretty bad. That would have been pretty cool. I mean, would, yeah. It would have been terrible. Shoot. Should I have let it explode? No. Because hmm. then yeah. we would need potions. But we wouldn't have any, because it would have exploded. Oh. You're so right. Now we have I'm potions. Also... So if you fail the next time, which hopefully we get the hell out of here and there won't be a next time. Um, Wait, you don't we'll know. have potions, yeah. In case they explode. Oh. Yeah, no. Yeah, of course. Because <laughs> like, I don't want to get hurt either. Like, I'm fearful of being hurt. I don't like getting hurt. Makes sense. Neither do I. Uh, how much you make? Uh, one. Good job. It took me a week. I've been trying for the last couple of months. I've made 17, but none of them have worked until this one! <laughs> Lucky number 18, I guess. I've been studying the arcane. I've been making moats that <gasps> don't produce any life whatsoever. As a matter of fact, they tend to take a little bit of the light out of the room. Oh. Yeah. Sort of negative light. I'm not really I'm sure I'm sure how that you could works. use that for something, no? Maybe. Like, you know, you know those really fancy houses? Where they have like a big chandelier instead of loads of like little sconces and torches and stuff. Yeah. You could use it to like reduce the potency of the big light. 
Sure. Sometimes it's just too much, you know? Hmm. I mean, it's still not what I'm going for. Oh, oh okay, okay. It, it well, might what? not be as bad as an explosion, but it's definitely not the result I'm looking for. What are you looking to me? Just trying to teach myself a little bit of magic. Oh, cool. I have this um little pocket guide you can read if you want. You don't you don't need this? Nah. My dad has like fifty seven of them. He uh, wrote it. Who is your dad? I fucking knew that question was coming and I wasn't prepared. <laughs> In a, in a general sense. Uh, I don't mean um, who is your dad and what does he do. I don't I mean... I don't remember like, his book. Who's his um, name? Yeah. Is, I don't mean... I don't mean... I just mean, like, who's your dad? Not in the fantasy sense. Who is your dad? Is he someone important? How many dragons has he slayed? I don't Are mean you asking dad. me who's my daddy? Oh, boy. <laughs> Sorry. Um... <laughs> rewind. Um... Uh, Who's your papa? Yeah, my my papa, uh, he's a he's a craftsman. He he makes all sorts of things. He makes little wooden things. He makes bird houses. He makes insect houses. He makes hedgehog houses. He makes badger houses. He makes pine martin houses. He makes. Doesn't make frog houses. houses. Be fun. He makes frog houses, Ooh. sometimes toad houses, uh, ladybug houses, uh, fish houses. He tried, didn't work very well with the paper mache. Um, he makes Be masks, caps. Seriously, rubbing Small's head. Eye eye mm. masks, uh, face masks, ear masks. Great, nose you know masks. that's small, right? Thank you for the book. Yeah, of course. It's got some of his recipes in there for like paper mache and just crafting know-how and stuff. I um, am a bit of a craftsman myself. You know, I could tell. I, I saw that seagull that is kind of always under your friend's hat and I was just like, that's a nice little hat. And I could see like a couple of the little like not calluses, but like the little crafty marks on your hands. I was like, mm. I don't use thimbles, unfortunately. I should probably do that. You'd need kind of a bigger thimble, wouldn't you? You know, whole hat. Should probably make one. I kind of like Winnie's bow tie. That's probably my favorite. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Could could I ask you something? What's up? Cause I made this, I made this, and she brings out her, um, very non disguisey um, paper mache and cardboard owlbear mask mask that does not disguise her whatsoever, or particularly look like an owlbear. It is a face covering made of paper and cardboard that, in some universe... Um... The one I made her? <laughs> no, the one... The one that she made. Oh, the old one, okay. Yeah. Um, could I use the one that you made and, like, get some leather armor made out of it? Like that? And then, like, put, you put like, designed by Bifon on, like, the inside? Absolutely. Ah, oh, gee, that's well, thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate that. Oh shit, her oh, mom does have a name and it's just, not that. I've been staring at that for the longest time, man. I fucking love that emo. <laughs> I have also, but while trying to look for um, her fucking dad's name, I have found shitty 3D art of, of her wearing her terrible, um, her terrible little owlbear mask. <laughs> So I've put it in both discords. 
in general chat in ours and show us your art in the other Discord. That Thank would you. be like if her mask was better. Because I did actually make a shitty cardboard <gasps> owlbear mask for it. her. <laughs> Thank you. I did actually make a shitty owlbear mask for her and I did get um, a, a Monty Fun Buns point of inspiration. I was very proud of myself for making a genuinely terrible <laughs> owlbear mask out of cardboard. DM? Yeah? May I make an attempt to try to make a better one? You absolutely may. Thank you. Oh, ah, 14. I think that's only a little better than the first time. <laughs> it is It is a slight improvement, though. It is slightly more rigid. It is um, an enhancement of the design. It takes enough inspiration from Small's original to feel like it was a collaborative effort, even though it was pretty much 98.9% beef on. Um... <laughs> okay. I'll 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 take hers. I'll take the one that I made, and we'll do like a remaster. Nice. <laughs> from from. <laughs> it's not like the PS5 Pro. It's like a it's a visible difference. <laughs> um... <laughs> Wait, I might have found. I might have found. Cr oh my god! I've so I've accidentally changed her mom's name in the passage of time. But her dad is canonically called Craig Moss. Yes. Wait, 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 Craig wait. Moss. Was that when we had the conversation about Craig? No, because there is a there is a Craiglian in the universe. So that might okay. have been when that conversation <laughs> happened. Fucking Craig Moss. I remember Craig Moss. Oh my god. Um. Craig. Uh, Craig Moss, as it describes in the blurb of this little kind of very paper, like half an A5 uh, no, page Scorpio. of paper, um, <laughs> uh, half a half like it just the size. I forget what the size is called, but it's like the size of your palm, like it's like a pamphlet rather than a book. Um, the blurb describes um, Craig Moss. A very quiet but timid man um, helps out around his local town with various wood carving and woodworking jobs. And now, in his older age, he makes miniature landscapes, paper mache puppets, and other toys for children. And yeah. Oh, mm. I forgot she also had a grandpappy. Ah. <gasps> oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep that up. Small backstory lore. <laughs> yeah, her mum used to be called Allegra. Fun fact. Hmm. Not anymore! Now she's like Yenka. Yenka's good. Yeah. It's a good name. Yenka Jane. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, and she'd be like, oh yeah, my, my dad's a craftsman. Uh, he, he makes a... He doesn't generally do like a lot of armor making and stuff. Like this is all while you're making the new and improved... Um, new and improved uh, owlbear mask. Uh, but he he does make some armor for me and my mom. So like the little engravings on this leather armor, he did all of that. Um, he's a really good craftsman. I can see that. Yeah. I, I would rather grow up to be like him rather than a hunter. Like my mom. Nothing personal, of course. I just... You know, since the giant fiasco, I'm like... Small, take it for what it is. You can't really do anything about others. They're going to do what they're going to do. So you do the same. But you could be a little more clever about it. Maybe a little nicer. Maybe a little bit more empathetic or something. But you also have to do you. So I would say, if I were in your position, ride the fame of being a giant killer. And maybe turn that into a career as a craftswoman. But I, I don't want to kill giants. No, you don't have to kill any more giants. You already Wait, have the reputation so... of being a giant killer. So no one is going to ask you to kill another giant. I mean, if it happens, be prepared. You never know when a giant might attack and people oh, are like, hey, call small. No, don't say that. Oh, it I get back could to happen. You. 
unfortunately. No, 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 it won't. It can't. Mm -mm. Look, sometimes it's not what you know, it's who you know. A lot of people know you. Use that to your advantage. Don't I, I sit tried... here crying about it all the time, you know? But it's really easy to sit here and cry about it. Yeah, I know. But don't. Maybe I should make stuff for the giants. I think they would like that. Can't be easy on them either. It would take a lot of materials, my end. I would need a whole army of people to help out. That would give a lot of people jobs and things to do. And I mean, come on. Of course you couldn't come up with something. You're, um... The child of Craig. I mean, what can a giant wear that doesn't require much fabric at all? Pants. I wish more of them would wear pants, to be honest. It's, uh, not fun staring a giant in the gooch. Have you ever stared a giant in the gooch? Worse. Oh, no. But yeah, if there's you... a hamster in there. I think there was a raccoon as well. Oh. Don't ask about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Oh, okay. Um... That threw me off completely. Holy moly. Um, ah, holy moly. Oh, that was not the phrase to use. Ah, um, no, it wasn't. Um, <laughs> but, but if you were a giant, wouldn't you want to just, you know, let it... I'm a giant. If I was a giant, I could do whatever the hell I want. It's just for the rest of us. Probably invite them to more parties if they wore pants. You know, maybe You want some goose nuggets? Yes, please. Come on, let's go get some goose nuggets. Okay. <laughs> just drives the conversation away from a uh, giant taint. And <laughs> as you as you <laughs> all pack up and begin to leave for the next day's travel, we will leave it there and have a break. A boy. A boy. We're gonna go and a have a break. Yeah. Oh, I go get half one and drink. It's all goose nuggets. Go get some. Go get some goose nuggets. Yeah. I <laughs> love small so much. <laughs> it was um, also. I love that she has a New York accent. It's great. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, I remember just being like, what accent does she have? And she's like, hi, I'm Small Moss. Or like, maybe she's all Irish. Hi, I'm Small Moss. And then, <laughs> for some reason, I just was like, what if, what if she's like Small Moss? And I was like, <gasps> Small <laughs> Moss. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the best thing about my original group, who, of course, I played uh, her with, um, is we all had our cameras on. So I like got the little wig, I got the little fucking shitty hey. owlbear mask that I made out of the Amazon package that the wig came in. And uh, just see seeing this. seeing my friend Aaron's response <laughs> to small talking for the first time. <laughs> I can still, like every time small talked, my friend Aaron would just be on her camera muted, just like <laughs> melting like, oh my god, I love her! It was the best! It was the best! Oh, I love her to bits. And I had to, I had to ham fist her into this campaign! Thank you! <laughs> Thank you for doing of that. Of all yeah. the people that uh, we could have met, I'm glad you brought Small Well, cause, cause y'all, y'all, y'all were like, man, we were meeting so many annoying NPCs. I was like, that's valid. We need, we oh, need some time my eyes away. went up when you said her name was Yanka Moss. I was like, oh. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> I'm just like yeah, and then I was like, "Who who are you guys?" It's like, oh my god, it's time for small. <laughs> we love small. She's a New Yorker. Stop! I might actually make a town called Yorker. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> She's canonically from the town Yorker, from the village bodega. 
<laughs> Her bodega order is uh, petting the cat and feeling mm, yes. too guilty to not pet the cat. So she doesn't actually order anything else from there that she needs to get, and she goes to another shop to get it. Gotta, there is not a cat. Got to pet the cat, Aki style, of course. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay, Doc, are we doing a break? We're doing a break. We will be back in little 10 to 15 minutes or so. So yeah, you yeah. guys go get some goose nuggets, goose question mark nuggets. Let us know what snacks and stuff you do get. And we will see you under the bay. Bye. Well, give me a couple uh, sandwiches and some goose nuggies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And some of that uh, sauce if Tarkin hasn't eaten it all. And no, Tarkin. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs>
fragmented. I think that was the movie. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> How you doing, Paula? <laughs> we forgot to we got forgot to say hi to Paula today. What was the story oh. with Paula again? It was a bot. Oh right. She, was she trying to give us free? Was she trying to give us bots or art. sell us bots? Was, oh art. One of the art ones. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, she was like, I followed you, and she fucking didn't. I remember that. <laughs> Fuck you, Paula. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she followed me, weirdly enough. <laughs> That's the yeah, stupid thing, because it was your information, but because I posted yeah. it on my Twitch, I got the follow. I mean, on my Twitter. <laughs> like, what the hell? Oh, and so she became funny. a character. Uh, you got me, too. I thought it was JC at real. first. <laughs> <laughs> She's her own person. Mm -hmm. She is That's, one that of true. us. And she is all of us. I also thought it was JC at first. <laughs> well, if only she was here right now, I wonder what she'd say. I wonder too. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 damn. Just bury him. I think Paula should be like a, you know, like a mantle. Like at different times, we're all Paula. <laughs> This is like Split, that movie. <laughs> yeah. <You know? laughs> it's like sometimes you're Paula, sometimes you're Dario, sometimes... <laughs> oh my god. Um, James McAvoy. Mode. James McAvoy. If somehow yeah. this gets to you, I'm sorry. But hello, weird tales of the Torn Veil. Vale. If you would love to come and be a guest on our show, we have a perfect character proposition for you. All we know is that her name is Paula, and you can make her whoever you want her to be. Um, we will give you a minimal and probably insulting amount of money uh, because we are small, and uh, we would appreciate you forever, and it would be legendary. Just, just saying, just saying. Where do things have happened on stream to me? I'm like, you never know. Mm. James McAvoy's out there, someone like, oh fuck, <laughs> <laughs> how did they know? <laughs> That's exactly how he sounds. Um, but yes, that that is information is out there. But hello everyone, welcome back to friends all the new. Hello, Olivia, Mr. Montgomery. Oh, oh. What's, a, oh, what's a name? Incredible. What was? Midnight Thank you, Scorpio. Some... Scorpio gave us a sneaky thousand yum yums. So break. sneaky, Scorpio. So sneaky. Um. Also, very delayed, but I found it. And then it's going to be delayed again while it loads. Well, sat. Little sleepy song, Aww. isn't it? What is it? Little sleepy song. It's a little sleepy song. <laughs> going so to sleep. sleep. Feel so sleepy right now. Fucking <laughs> 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 go to sleep. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> 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 That was the wrong song. I'm not okay. scared of Briley anymore. I'm scared of <laughs> you. Fucking should be. I have bad news for you. Um, I play Briley. <laughs> um, what? I don't know how to bring that up. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> I like I like how you tell people you're about to be mean. <laughs> and you're like, I'm toxic when I play this video game. I am going to be mad at you. Well, look, I like to inform people so that they're not blindsided by it, and so that I can Im uh, indeed apologize in advance for something that usually doesn't actually happen, <laughs> and, then I, and then I don't have to feel bad when it inevitably doesn't happen, because I've already apologized for the thing that doesn't happen. Beautiful British. strategy, I like it. Thank yes, you. that too. Um... <laughs> Um, <laughs> chicken nugget. No, you can't just opt in to be <laughs> James McAvoy. That's not how this works. <laughs> I appreciate the eagerness to be James McAvoy, <laughs> but you can't. It doesn't work like that. Become um, Jane. Do it right now. <laughs> um, I can only do. I can only become one person at the at the drop of a hat. And he's the best damn captain in the skies, eh? He's in a different realm right now. He's up in the <laughs> up in the skies, yeah. I thought you were gonna say Gilbert Godfrey. Oh my god. 
Good old you bar fucking days. fucking know it. <laughs> that one's a secret. So, uh, you all begin to make your way back into the mysterious undergrowths of Nil. Um, I mean, I guess technically it is worth noting that this, the sea sky surface is still there. So once again, <laughs> Alume will go, now, to not have a repeat of yesterday, let us remember that we should not look directly skyward. Hey, Al? Mm hmm? What exactly happens if we stare at it for more than two minutes? I've never seen someone survive past 45 seconds. So I'm not sure. DM? Yeah? What kind of check would I have to roll? Holy fuck. To go past 45 seconds. <laughs> Go beyond. It Plus would be ultra. It would be a difficult constitution check. If you wanted to like six. gently, if you wanted to gently approach forty-five seconds, it might be slightly easier. But there's more risk because you'd have to roll more. But if you just wanted to shoot for forty-five seconds and go for it. It would be it would be a difficult role, but it would be doable. But there would be consequences on failure. So Bifon starts looking up. Okay. Which approach would you like to do? Shoot immediately for past forty five seconds, or work your way up to it? Ludo, time me. Does that <laughs> okay. answer your question? No. Is that a good idea? I'm terrible at picking up signals like that. <laughs> we're not, we're just doing it. Okay. So that'll be a single constitution saving throw for me, please. <sighs> I ask 16. Uh, I ask friends to count the hops. <laughs> um. Mrs. Throws will see this, or Ms. <laughs> Ms. Throws, Madame Throws will see this, and give you guidance, which gives you. I haven't got Rashida. An additional bonus. But if anyone else would like to help, now is maybe the time. Uh, guidance. Yep. What does that add? Uh, gives him the blessing of Isimic, most importantly. And it's also a plus 1d4. Okay. So you add a d4 to that. Um. Oh, how nice. Um, that works out because Barley doesn't actually have guidance. Uh, whoops! <laughs> uh, what does she? What? Um, hmm. Not sure if that would work. Hmm. Don't think she can help. Uh, can small help? Can anyone else do anything to assist? Even if it's just an idea you want to throw out there, we'll take it. I'm already dead, aren't I, Key? You're not dead. You're not dead. It wouldn't. It wouldn't be a insta dead thing. It would not be an insta dead thing. Uh, boop. Oh, well, Lumi might have. I, think it. I just mouth of madness myself. Wee. Oh, um, small also has guidance. I knew someone did. So you get an additional d4 on top of that. <laughs> so 2d4 extra total. 
I'll allow the stacking. As with How's anything like this, it goes both <laughs> ways. Uh, Lumiere sees all of these happen and will also cast. <laughs> <laughs> um, he will cast Resistance, which is basically the same, but under a different name. Um, so you roll another d4. You want me to do it? Or are you doing it? You go for it. As your D that is your D4 now, my son. <laughs> ah, gotcha. Another two. So that is a dirty twent. Whew. A dirty 20 just succeeds. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How much longer it does? past 40 for it does just succeed. Cool. What what time are we at, Ludo? How far did we get? Full 45? Full 45. We're now into 50, 55, climbing into a minute. Uh, it, it, I didn't say that, like, as a, as a challenge, but, um, I mean, you're not dead, so that's ra rather impressive. Um, there isn't a... I don't have, like, a prize for it or anything. But this beef on get, like, the wisdom of the cosmos? That's a really good question, Ludo. He's staring into the abyss. Sarah's so staring back into you. Roll a d100 for me, please, be fun. Oh my god. Cool. Eighty-one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll something, and no, it's not to see. If the sky recognizes Marklin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, were well, you with him? Fine, then I won't completely blind <laughs> oh, you. Oh, shit! <laughs> Beef on. I'm you staring see... at the ceiling right now. You see the ceiling of ocean waves, the tides. Just if you squint, just beyond is this kind of drunken, not quite drunken, but this feeling of almost an alcoholic stupor and calm washes over you. You look just beyond and see stars for miles and miles and miles. Seemingly, it could it could all be an illusion. This is nil. Nothing is quite as it seems. But as you're staring out at these constellations and the waves and you exhale slowly you feel a strange sensation. Almost as if you can pick up on the scent of the arcane of Nil, almost as if you can sense a path of relative safety. What's more, Would you say Bifon is more of a gut instinct, instinct or a thoroughly thought through kind of person? Or a bit of both? Or in between? Or A bit of both, but when you add the word, when you add the word uh, thoroughly, probably a little bit more gut. So leaning, mm -hmm. a little more gut. You have a <clears throat> gut instinct. that something that you seek lies not far ahead. And that some caution should be taken after the next 500 meters or so. 
and that whatever it is, don't touch it. Because whatever skies and tides lay above, whatever power the seas and the stars have to rip a body asunder, a planet asunder, nothing compares to the power you are about to face. Evisceration would be too kind a word. Do not touch what lays ahead. You will know when you find it. Trust your gut. Well, it wasn't me that was into the teeth. Like, I think that was JC's thing, actually. <laughs> Um, as you look down, Ludo, you've been timing him for like two and a half minutes. Oh, keep and going, he's buddy. only just looked down. <laughs> doing great. You will. Shit. <clears throat> great. <laughs> Have fun, did we? I can you hold my arcane. Like... <laughs> <laughs> what was that like? Oh, you yeah. should consider looking up there once in a while. It's freaking cool. Um, no, no, let's not all do it. We had a couple of people do it yesterday, and they faced the consequences of doing so. Let us not all. We do not all have the yeah. mad stamina of beef on. My God's a Above. I felt like I had done a night of drinking and was experiencing the hangover at the same time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Before, you feel that just like you've just had a real strong alcohol or like a really hot hot sauce but like the pain or the heat has subsided and it's now just that wash of like feeling cleansed. But it's like oh it took it took something Talk a bit out of you, but you've come out the other side like still breathing and shit. Fuck. It's, <laughs> like, it's a good thing I don't have an addictive personality. I'll be coming down to this place more often. Ooh. Oh, God's above. Yes. Um. Right. Shall we continue? Let's again. I know <sighs> we've just seen the absolute exception to the rule, but let us not make ritual out of a. Oh, mm -mm. exception of circumstance. Let us continue, mm -mm. shall we? Mm -mm. Did burns at first. <sighs> um, might want to go a little more to the left out. Oh, of course. I wait. <laughs> He's like, oh, of course. Sorry, wait, wait. Peanuts? <laughs> Just kind of squints his eyes. <laughs> Just the opposite. Huh. Your team... I hate to be so trophy, but you guys really aren't like the others, are you? Oh, we're just idiots. Yay! Yes. Well, mm. um... Yeah, I can vouch for that. Kinry, come on. Don't be... Don't be mean. Well, it's true. Kinry's the biggest idiot. He's just a dumb dog. Hey, shut up! You're a dog? Nuh-uh. Hmm. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I did wonder. Watch this. He had Defone some lycanthrope like, sense and to him. Throws that shit into the forest. And stares at Kinry. Oh my god. That's mean. He's gonna make a saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> he got a 17. We're safe. <laughs> He's like, you see he almost goes and he stops himself. As much as I want to get that stick, that's a very dangerous place to throw a stick right now. So I'm not going to go after it, and I, I totally wouldn't. It, I don't <laughs> have just... to if I don't want to, and I don't want to. I don't want to go after the stick, but I could if I wanted to. But it would be because I want to, not because of the other thing. Well, giving want... him the fun uncle smile. He's just, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't want to get the stick. Do you want to go for a walk? <gasps> Ease. <clears throat> his his very human ears prick up and his pupils enlarge 
<laughs> slightly. <laughs> Walk? We're we're <clears throat> we're already walking, idiot. Hey, you don't <laughs> talk to your older sister like that. I just need that to be my text alert so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I need it so bad. I was playing the game like two days ago and I kept hearing this bark that was like that and yes! I could not stop thinking about <laughs> it. Definitely, there needs to be a hay on that damn soundboard. Really, I fucking love that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I caught myself doing it like once or twice. <laughs> oh, it's, so bad. it's easy done. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, Briarly will turn to Kinry. You shouldn't speak to people that are your elders that way. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Kind of looks to the floor. His ears droop. <laughs> However much human ears can droop, which is not much. Right. Shall we be onward then? Yes! Uh, I suppose. So. <laughs> Wonderful. Right. Off we go. Little to the left. <laughs> Here we go. And as you get further and further ahead... Kind of a hundred meters, two hundred meters, three hundred meters. You'll never guess what's next. Four hundred meters. No way. <laughs> then three hundred and ninety meters because someone dropped something. <laughs> Another get... damn spell. <laughs> <laughs> you get to a clearing. The clearing is just kind of a slightly more open area. Slightly more like the regular foresty undergrowths that you started out in, in Nil. With the exception that kind of just bordering the right hand side of this area, you see a very gentle rain. But of course, because it is Nil, it is indeed falling towards the top of the sea surface. Very slowly. Almost hypnotically. You see... a kind of... wide, shallow... indentation in the ground. As if this huge sphere has just delicately been sitting in place here for an unknown amount of time. It's no more shallow than half a foot, but it's as wide. I'm so bad at width and length, I tell you. Um, as a McDonald's. <laughs> Not quite. It is about as, as, it's got the um, radius of a bus. Like if you were to put a bus in the middle and spin it round. <laughs> got it. <laughs> it would be about that wide. And it's just a big old sphere hanging out in the ground? No, nope, it's just, just the shape of uh, a dent in the ground. There's no sphere actually there. Okay. Is it like perfectly a sphere? Seems to be. Huh. Be fun. This is the mm. place. Roll. Everyone can roll an arcana check. Be fun will be getting advantage. He's been studying the arcane, you know. And also, he looked at the sky for too long, so. <laughs> <laughs> It would, it would. It would, it would. Oh god, that was hilarious. It got stuck on the side, so it was slowly falling. <laughs> so it wouldn't give me the number. <laughs> 17. 
Nice. Got a 16 from Taki. Volantis. Got a 12. Nice. Be proud of that 12. That is above average. Okay. <laughs> Just aggressively <laughs> encouraging my team. <laughs> oh, shit. Ludo, go on eight. Do better. It was, it, was actually a, it was actually a four. It was worse. It was right, a so... four. Ludo, do better. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. So, Tarquin, Camellia, yes. and Bifon, <laughs> you all sense strong, very strong arcane energies from this kind of shallow dent, let's say for lack of a better poetic word. Um, Tarquin, you would know this to be a more powerful font of magic than your armband. Bayfong. This is indubitably Un undoubtedly what the sky was communing to you. Do not touch it. Is this site in our path? Yeah. You've kind of walked directly into this clearing. Ooh, so we have to go through here. Yeah. You don't have to go directly through the dent, but this kind of clearing is immediately kind of on your trail mm. on the trail please <laughs> it was right there no it was <laughs> yeah you had to yeah hey um don't walk in that hole as a matter of fact give it a wide berth we got plenty of space here hmm You sense the arcane in it, too. Madame Barley throws. <laughs> looks to She doesn't look towards you, she just kind of continues looking at the, um, the ground beneath, oh, in front of you. Small kind of crouches down and looks at the ground around it. Once again, worth asking, who is carrying Colm? <laughs> or is he in the fridge being opened every 10 minutes or so? He just has to constantly <laughs> be knocked out. It, it seems like it's the plan that's working at the moment <laughs> that the team has opted for, but he doesn't have to be. Uh, yeah, if it's easy, sure. Yeah, I'll just keep wearing him like a like a airline pillow. Like a little Colm scarf. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Sick. He's pretty, he's, he's kind of bony, but he's, you're kind of getting used to it, you know. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> memory foam. <laughs> I ask, uh, memory foam. I ask, uh, friends, <laughs> friends is on, like, sentry mode, <laughs> and they hop, hop, hop every time he wakes up, so I can knock him back out. Aww. Yeah, I didn't trust him. I, I doubt he trusts himself. He probably prefers being asleep. That was just, uh, fr Friends isn't looking at Colm, he's just looking at Ludo. Who's my favorite boy? Yes, it's you. <laughs> just presents you with the top of his head. I rub it and I fish out, uh, apparently I have hair sausage. Sorry, I have broccolini in my mouth, that's why my mouth sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> broccolini Jason, in my mouth, hair sausage in my mouth. eating the hair sausage. <laughs> Broccolini in my mouth, and you don't know. 
<laughs> Sorry. Uh, I give him some hair sausage. Because he's my favorite little boy and he deserves it. Um, you see uh, Briarly take a small pebble from the ground. I think this should be safe. Kind of tosses it towards the the hole, the dent, the shape. <laughs> the indentation! And at first, nothing seems to happen. The pebble just kind of rolls towards the center, leaving a slight sandy residue and path behind it. Oh, that's disappointing. Well, are you kind of expecting it to do something? Yeah, I was hoping for some sparks, maybe some things <laughs> or something. As you're speaking, <laughs> you see this entire area uh, of the divot just light up with this bright, bright blue light. You're all flashbanged. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and it kind of comes out of the sides in bright rays. And you see almost this rippling effect towards the center of this area, like flowing water. But it is just this pure, translucent, bright, glowing turquoise liquid. And a small hole appears in the very center that the water drain, the quote unquote, water drains through. And it just keeps looping. And you see some of the raindrops around you kind of begin to light up with a similar effect. Cool. Those you do parties, Briarly? <laughs> Those who sensed the arcane before, even if you didn't sense the arcane before, it is practically impossible not to feel the se severe arcane energy coming from this what can only be described as a wellspring of arcanic energy. Uh, bir birthday parties? Uh, um, oh, that's what you do. Uh, Neat. N no. No, I just... <laughs> what? Do you know what this is? By your tone, I'm assuming that you do. Oh, not exactly, but... <laughs> it can't be what I think it is. And what can't it be? She kind of grasps the bottom of her arm towards her elbow. It is a wellspring of pure arcanic energy from within the world itself. But not of the world itself. Why are you all adventuring here? Or at all? There's something you've not been telling me. Um, we're not adventuring here. Uh, we fell through a hole in the floor of the Earth, planet thing, space time continuum, and just woke up here. But before here, what is your overall goal? What groups are you affiliated with? We were Just helping kind of... a town find a kid. That that one over there. Yeah, I 
that's uh that's me yeah it turns out they were uh werewolves um then pink lady showed up um i don't know if uh, she did this or not you know the thing and then like we the fell through the hole the the, the thick briarly come on you know what the thing is you know what the thing is i do not know what you're speaking you do of. know what the thing is the thing <laughs> if you don't know what the thing is you are terrible at your job you can roll an insight check if you want to I don't need to roll an inside check. She could. T she she wants to tell us. She could tell us. I don't. She knows what I mean when I say that we fell through a hole <laughs> in the world. She knows that part. Yeah. It's the other part she doesn't know. Fragmentium what doesn't know about part? veil tears. Roll an inside check. We're supposed to keep it a secret, right? Is that at the part from, of it? It's here and said from the general public and where possible. Unless Better. it's a trusted party. You got a 19. 19. Briarly personally does not know about the tears in the veil. Oh, <laughs> I think she really doesn't know before. Uh... Amelia, I was certainly not sharing anything with somebody from the Zeitzer Eclect Fragmentium. Hmm. Okay. Well, I must say you. No, don't. Hmm, I said that low enough that she can't hear. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fine. She was gonna Fuck compliment... it, I said it to myself. <laughs> she was gonna compliment you for remembering the name of it. <laughs> I was saying it out loud so that JC would know. <laughs> <laughs> GG from DM to Dime for remembering the pronunciation. Very proud of you. <laughs> I came off really, really uh, patronizing, but I didn't intend it to be. No, I love I, it. I can't it's remember how it's fucking great word. pronounced. Camellia? Uh, it, um... It's part of our mission, but we aren't allowed to talk about it. Aren't we? Is that really part of it? We hunt werewolves. I know you're not werewolves. The child is, but you are not. We hunt. We hunt them. We hunt. Them. It is. She definitely is an executive. <laughs> Just playing the role, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and we beat them up if they disrespect their older sisters glare full dad glare <laughs> camellia looks at uh, kinry and shakes her head like no <laughs> so like like i said we were beating one up somebody got involved in our mission and world kind of opened up and here we are in nil I don't know if they caused it or not. I don't know much about them. You ever heard of a gimmick, by any chance? Mm, I need slightly more interesting music than this. This one? Oh, man, she's gonna be a gimmick. It's gonna be a whole thing. <laughs> Oh no, that's too much. That's too much. Yeah, that's yeah. that's no, 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 no. too it. That gimmick is here. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's roll initiative music. This might also be, but it's better. So, okay. Amelia, I am your mother. <laughs> no. no. Oh shit! I was like, wait, what am I rolling for? And then I looked at the dice and remembered and went, oh fuck. Gimmick. Yeah. You ever heard of a gimmick? <clears throat> yes. She, the cogs are turning in her head. I can hear them. Of the Osborn Council of Isafrae. What? 
Yeah, that one. I believe I do. Know of her. Yeah, got into a little bit of a scuffle. I'm not Here surprised. we are. It is not beyond a member of the Osborne Council's powers to reopen a portal from Isafrae to Nil. The two realms are connected, after all. Hmm. A weird uh, entity takes over Ludo and says, Hey, do you know if she's like seeing anyone or? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a weird entity takes over, uh, Barley throws. Um, last time I checked, she's super single. <laughs> okay, good to know. Awesome. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Let's go. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> that was not canon. <laughs> huh. Somewhere in the, somewhere in nil, two demons are taking the... F uh, like butchered forms of Ludo and Briarly and recreating that conversation <laughs> <laughs> for entertainment and everyone's like well I'm really invested in this <laughs> wait uh, so this place this planet is related to our planet they are intertwined and connected yes Oh. it is no significant surprise that should you reach deep enough into your earth that you would potentially run into a portal that leads you to nil. Is uh, the far also related to our planet? Is the the far? Yeah, where you guys are from, the deer land. The f the Feylands. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Slightly less adjacent. Hmm. Interesting. There are portals between the two, but not fully established. Else Danny would be able to use a corridor to Isafray, but instead we have to proactively teleport him. And why I only have one charge to get to Nil because it is magically different to Isafray. Right, we want to talk to you about that actually. So uh oh never mind, that's not they'll talk about that later. I have one portal to and one portal back to the Feywild from and to Nil. Ah. I sent Danny back for future conversations. Seen trouble? That depends how all of this goes. Huh. You all being truthful with me would be a good start to ensure his lack of reprimand okay what do you want to know what the other thing is it's on the tip of your lips so this lady she fight us then she mm -hmm. opens some kind of portal we fall in the portal nobody ever believes us i believe you in that regard but there is more to it uh... My entire job is working with employees who have secrets to tell. How about you tell us what you want to know? I would like to know the thing that you are keeping from me. To see if I am able to help with it, or if I am comfortable with my daughter being a part of that mission. You already know the answer, so just... Ask us what you want to know. Don't ask us to tell you whatever. If you want my life story, hey, fine. Let's uh, sit down and have a conversation about it. But you already know the specific thing you want to ask. What organization do you work for? Hey, we're getting Let's somewhere finally. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, I'm trying not to insult you here, like you're no, an idiot. No, we have. I know you've ways done your homework. I'm sure. Questioning people, I'm sure. I take no personal offense to it. Does it have a name, what we work for? It's the so you do work for someone. Bunny lady. What's her name? 
<laughs> Roll the history check, Ludo. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, JC knows, I think. Oh, that's great. I mean, Ludo can still roll a history check if you okay. want him to. <laughs> he, 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 he Rubes is trying to ensure some people don't get their bingo. What, what's her name? Ed, Ed Sheeran? Be quiet over there. What's her name? You did not just call her Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran, that's her name. Yeah, it is no. Ed Sheeran. Yes. High or low, JC? <laughs> low for Ludo. Lucky bastard. <laughs> Light DM lightning. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Look, you're next to a pool of raw, arconic energy. <laughs> it's not out of the question that a little bit of lightning might go astray for calling my girl Ed Sheeran. <laughs> I, I think she runs He's just us. thinking out loud. You're bad, hey. Rob 3. <laughs> I'm, just to, I'm just trying to be part of the A team. All right. Um, we, yeah, she works for like a school. Smash this bottle over your head. <laughs> she works for like a school. Uh, I think what we're supposed to do is secret, but I think you can know because you're family. So, tell me. What is her name, and what is the name of the organization? Uh, what is it? Camellia, you know, right? Egg, it, it, able. Damn, that's dirty bringing Camellia into it. Yeah, tell your mom. <laughs> Run out your company, tell your mom. <laughs> we I will. For... Uh... Yeah, go ahead. I will say. <laughs> Give you a moment of respite. Um, there is a song here called Brief Respite. I might play it. Um, I will say, should you wish to roll an insight check to see if it's more likely that she'll drag you home kicking and screaming or try to find a way to help out, you may. Yeah. Insight. Disadvantage. Oh, exhaustion, you yeah. son of a bitch. Oh. Small will pat you on the shoulder and give you guidance. So that's an extra D4. And I got something I want to say to your mom. Ooh! Plus a D4. Okay. Okay. Ooh, 18. Nice! Hey. Contested. Rubes wins! Yay. You can tell that she's she's more concerned because there's obviously something she doesn't know. And mentioning gimmick specifically has her defensive, but not in a way of like, I must drag my daughter back home right now. It's like she can use potentially use her position to assist. But she's losing her patience quite quickly. Oh, oh, oh. Go for it, go oh. for it, go for it. Oh, oh. <laughs> You're tearing. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, are we gonna do this again? <laughs> I didn't know she had a last name. <laughs> also, JC. Your, mom, your mom's not good at her job, I just wanna say. Maybe she knows like four Terrans. Maybe it's the Claire of Isafray. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I do she like that name a lot. She knows who Gimmick is. She runs a oh, council, how many, right? how many pink gimmicks do you meet? Who so if, willingly if, yeet someone from is afraid to nil for no scene. If I mention reason. gimmick and then I mention you and I'm expecting that she kinda knows what's going on. Okay. If she doesn't, I don't know what I can do. She'll re remember her <laughs> no. Uh she'll <laughs> She'll roll a history <laughs> She'll roll a history check. Okay, okay. I'm gonna be a name dropping. It's in air. Of the Ninut Guildhalls. 
Bingo. There it is. Yes. Well, you ride as a group. It, it, I tell you, they nice. make you forget oh, shit, all I'm the sorry. words. Let's make some kind of weird combo <laughs> making commercial. Sorry. <laughs> Perfect for Ludo. It, it's it's a big old. <laughs> what is that? Chenette? The the people who make the plates. That's a cool commercial. Make combo. Make combo. Make combo. <laughs> um. <laughs> so what? Organization does she have? If us. So Did okay, we 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 won purpose? the hunt, right? And then they said, "Oh, you guys are pretty good. You should come work for us." And then they said, "We're gonna look for all these veils, these uh, the portals all over the place, and try and fix it." And then we were in the middle of doing that. And then they get teleported here by the lady gimmick. The veil. Around Disafray. Yeah, it's been like ripped up. The gimmick lady did it, I think. That's how we got here. Oh, I don't believe you went through the veil. You would know if you went through the veil. Or mm -hmm. maybe you wouldn't. Because yeah, it was pretty weird. I don't know. This is not beyond the veil. This is nil. This is a, a real place that exists. Oh, what's up? There's no way of knowing what's beyond the veil. Oh, I thought the veil was like, you know, like tunnels connecting all the different planets. No, those would be. <sighs> there are some planets that have some realms. <laughs> she said planet <laughs> she said planet <laughs> there are there are also some planets that have those connections but we're not speaking of planets we are speaking of realms ah. some realms do have direct corridors from one to the other that is how you got from Isafrae to here whether gimmick supposedly tore a piece of the veil or not what ultimately happened is you fell far enough through the earth to, or Gimmick indeed opened one of the portals to the corridor that leads from Isafray to Nil, and that is how you found yourselves here. As I was speaking of earlier, though there are technically corridors from the Feylands to Isafray, they are unstable at best. So we still have to rely on teleportation magics for our business. Although it's possible that some portals do directly exist connecting those corridors, but we do not know of them. The fact that the veil is being torn would explain how we have found more and more ways to get between these realms. We have had Portals appear in the Feywilds before that have led to Isafray that have not existed before. We have had deities and spirits and just Fey folk able to go to Isafray or to Nil or to any realm beyond just by walking through a doorway that has found itself opened. We have lost deities that we have found evidence of in your world only recently this wellspring before us is another piece of evidence to that fact these are not meant to be open these are meant to be sealed within the world is that not how your world was created by weaving the pieces back together with the pure arconic energy of the ancient ones or well, maybe you want the group to ask, but... I don't know. I wasn't there. Yeah, we're just Very... the breakfast club. We mostly hunt monsters. That's a... Admittedly a sweet name. Beefon. <sighs> I pointed Beefon. Come up with it. That's... If you ever want to work in marketing, you let me know. We'll have a desk for you. Hey, so yeah, I heard you guys no, just go you. around and take things. 
That's a pretty good job. It's not just <laughs> taking things. It is archiving <laughs> important world worlds wide and realms wide artifacts. Yeah, it but is they... with these pieces of research that we have been able to make these connections and realize that something is going on between the worlds. And with what you have just told me, we can now confirm this more solidly. Yeah, I'm really good at taking stuff if you ever need somebody to... You guys pay pretty good, right? Danny has nice hat. I mean, he brought that with him. Oh. Do you pay good? It depends how well you do your job. Okay, well, after we save the world, fix all the veils, you know, maybe... Uh, advanced, uh, thing taker, you know? CEO of Takery. So how do Mission you... theft. Hmm. How do you fix the veils? Oh, we actually haven't done any of that yet. We're kind of leveling up to it. Right. So what is your job in the meantime? To just discover tears in the veil rather than to cause them? You know, or... I, don't, I don't know why, but it was to save this kid. I thought we were gonna go hunt down veils too, but they made us go pick up a guy and then we come back and then they're like, go find this kid. But eventually, probably, hopefully, hopefully. DM. Yeah? May I roll another forgetful history check? I wish you would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> I just like that phrase. It's just so it's so ah, passive so aggressive. I fucking Jace, wish Jace you would. know because you, for some reason, seem to always remember this guy's name. Who's the monk we're looking for? Oh, uh, if, if Tefema. 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 Yes. Maybe. <clears throat> That's like the one you Tefema. never forget. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate yeah. that. What color is his cat? That's gonna be in the next pop quiz. Oh no. He had a black cat. Nope. Damn it. He had a ginger cat. <laughs> like I said, it with confidence, though. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, it counted for something somewhere, but not here. Um... So, <laughs> the only thing I could say is um, we did lose somebody that we're keeping an eye out for. You wouldn't happen to know what to Fimo, would you? Rolling. No. I'm afraid not. What happened so how to them? can you help us? Well, that's the only person I know that may have possibly gone through the veil. I just know they're missing and they know of them. Well, if at all possible, I would meet with Itirin, if you would allow such a thing. I don't know if that's up to us. Hmm. Oh, you know where she is. I do not. I can find out, but do we I'm have sure a way of reaching you? A a... Way. If we ask her permission, do we have a way of reaching you? I can more easily teleport between the Feylands and Isufre. Yes, if indeed <laughs> she is in Isufre. Oh yeah, I, I mean, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to her, ask her if she wants to meet you, and then if so, how do we tell oh, can you? Can you help us? Well, we may have some artifacts that may be of some import, some relation. While she's doing, while she's talking right now, I'm gonna like kind of do like a little bit of a wander, and as I walk past Camellia, I'm gonna say, "Are you okay with her working with us?" Mm. Camellia slowly nods her head, but very reluctantly. And then I walk back to where Ludo is standing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very managerial move of you, Beefum. <laughs> 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 she notices and respects that. <laughs> um, we may find that there are some things in the archives that have proven mysterious to us before that may be related somewhat. If you do not want the Fragmentium to be involved, however, 
I'm sure that can be arranged. And I personally would be able to help out. But I would need to know first whether you would want the Fragmentium's involvement or not. Camellia, without an insight check. That's really fucking sus. <laughs> the Fragmentium <laughs> is love. The Fragmentium is life. The Fragmentium is the life she has been preparing for you and leading you towards. And suddenly she's like, B. <laughs> Fragmentium schmagmentium, you know, like, yeah, it rings odd in your head. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Well, you seem very eager to help, so I'd say this is on you. Well, it might be a good time for a talk. A talk? I, I, I already know about the birds and the bees, Ludo. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are Seems the like it's bees? family time here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Um, I obviously also know what the birds and the bees are but i think it would be really good for me to sit in on that conversation <laughs> as a mediator <laughs> um. what let's get this is kinry you go back to the fridge <laughs> what <laughs> what me well why do i have to go to the fridge i think that's small that is oh, small. No, I thought it was Kenry. <laughs> Kenry, oh. Kenry also said he's he he. Kenry also said what's the birds and the bees, but I then Small was, was like, Kenry I too. also <laughs> would like to know what if they're very New York. It's small. <laughs> oh, sorry, I, I thought you were a kid because uh, you're you're small. So oh, you can stay. She she for a moment looks like she's insulted, and then she goes, "No, I get it. I'm really freaking tiny, so." I get it. And my name's small, so, you know. Uh, Gotta live up thing. to the name. Or more like, live down to the name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ru Rubes, no, no pressure, but, you know, mm -hmm. we're talking about whether or not your mom's going to maintain major mm -hmm. NPC status in our quest line. I don't know, maybe it might be a good time to have that talk you were talking about talking. Mm -hmm. Talk yeah, no her. pressure, not a big deal. <laughs> I mean, we can easily change, you know, we can easily talk, talk her into something else. There's, <laughs> good. There's still time, because you're not sure how close to the city you are. Um, so there is- I do! There's no immediate pressure. <laughs> Currently, we're almost out of here, actually. <laughs> Isn't that right, Al? Uh, it, Peanuts, Al. Peanuts. Uh, uh, um, uh, I know the path. I don't know how long the path is. We're close enough. It, it shouldn't, it usually doesn't take more than another day or so. But it has also been, like, a couple weeks before. But, you know, one time it was three months. But, you know, that was a, it was a bad time. Um, hey, Small, do you like hugs? Because I know a guy. Oh yeah, you know a guy. Yeah. I could do. I could. I could do with some hugs. Why? I'll Pass hook you up. I'll down. hook you up. Oh yeah. They cost yeah. anything? You yeah. need to do anything for these hugs? Are you thinking? Are, are you thinking what I'm I thinking? I want to bring a little something. Are you thinking <laughs> Smoctel? Oh! <laughs> stop! Smoctel would be great. <laughs> like. So not each other's type on the surface, but the potential, <laughs> potential for most of yeah, I don't know how open something is something more. Oh. Well, we know he definitely gay. Yeah, I was thinking that. Can doesn't he like uh, like guys? Know. You know, gender. I mean, fluid. who doesn't like Tarquin? This is the question. Uh, yeah, I cannot blame him. I mean, but that's true. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have assumed. Get your everyone it's is gay Tarquin. for Tarquin shirts <laughs> at www. That's a great point, actually. 
<laughs> isn't gay for Tarquin. <laughs> but, I rescued um, two hairs for that man. <laughs> um, he has confirmed Tarquin gay at the very least. As for <laughs> any more information from there, it is unknown. <laughs> that could work. That could work. That's adorable, though. But uh, yeah, what what are you what are you thinking? Is how how do we get some of them some of them hooks? Uh, I'll see what I can do. Wait, who from? Hmm. I, I I know I know some people. Are you know a guy? Yeah, I know <laughs> I know a couple of guys. Are they are they like super nice? Yeah. Friendly? Why would I recommend to you an asshole? Well, I don't know. Some people do sometimes. My mom will be like, oh, you should marry this guy. And then he comes around and he's like, let's go kill a giant together. And I'm like, so respectfully, I have never been so I... turned off in my entire life. And I <sighs> hope you the greatest misfortunes. Do you think your mom keeps company with? I wouldn't my dad... take any of those recommendations. My dad's really nice. Yeah, and that's why we have you. Thank goodness for her one good choice in life. I like I like hugging my dad. I miss him. Want to hug small? Yes, please. Aww. Would you, would you, you just want to hug my thigh, or shall I pick you up? I don't want to offend or anything. Should I come down to you? Yeah, I, well, I can't come up to you, so... It's... I'll, I'll pick you up. Oh, you don't have to. You don't have to do. Do you pick her up? <laughs> I'm pick her up and give her the biggest damn hug ever. Ah! <laughs> the, floor, the floor is so far. The floor is so far. The floor. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> and the best thing is, like, you're still in front of this significantly arcanic, powerful wellspring. So it's just this beautiful, like, bright turquoise light and like glittering <laughs> rain floating upwards around you. <laughs> Ludo, it would be really romantic if baby cheeks was here. Yeah. I was just thinking that. In character and out oh, of character. Or, or Umberly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the devil. <laughs> so what's it gonna well, be, Rooks? What should we do? But there is also time, so there's no immediate mm. pressure. I think we can wait till town. <laughs> you okay. just really don't want to do this. <laughs> this is valid. That was very valid. Um, plus, Camellia is just like increasingly exhausted as well. So it's like there's there's mm. a lot going on for Camellia yeah. right now. Yeah, compromise right now. If nothing else, this this arcanic light it's not the sun, but it does burn with the power of the sun <laughs> almost. <laughs> so it's like it's some it takes some levity off of the burden of no sun. I would like to say, like, all the plants in Camellia's hair are probably wilting a bit. Oh, oh no. 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 Everybody make a perception check, please. Okay. So I, I will say... It doesn't say... have to be high. Dragons are quite big to see. No, I'm kidding. Oh, <gasps> where, where are they? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't believe we're going to Tarquin, uh, Dragon, Ferender Arc. Mm -hmm. I got an eighteen. Eighteen. Damn. Tarquin rolling good today. Fourteen. Fourteen. Nice. And is Camellia frozen? <laughs> oh. Or. It's fine if she is. She does, she does not have to roll. Some rolls are optional. Wee -wee. Magical <sighs> light. Oh no, the nat 20. What a beautiful 20. 15's really good though. Um, mm -hmm. Beef on and Camellia. And Tarquin. You see that around, kind of as this um, 
wellspring of arconic light that Bifon advised not to touch, and you can see fucking why. Um, <laughs> uh, kind of around it, the dust is kind of being blown away, or the sand from the floor is being blown away, and kind of just around the outskirts, you see remnants of skeletons and bones of what seem Whoa. to be past adventurers that seemingly either booped the snoot and perished or were too close when someone else booped the snoot and perished. Um, you can see pretty clearly from the remnants uh, kind of the positions people were standing or indeed laying in when the snoot was booped. The snoot being the wellspring of pure arcana. Um, as some people seem to have begun to just completely evaporate from the arm up. Um, and kind of their jaw and their chest bones have almost melted to the side as if blown by a significantly powerful wind and been melted by acid at the same time and just frozen in this kind of almost dripping wax effect purely to the side as if in a high wind. And other people in different positions. Some people have had their legs similar. Pretty much any skulls that lay around here are frozen with their mouths agape. As if screaming on their painful, excruciating deaths. It's Ooh, not touch Thank you, Key. It's not touch a thing. Oh, you rolled high! You rolled high and I rolled very low, so I was like, you Oh get... no for that description, that was amazing. Oh thank you. Ow! Ow! Do I get DM inspiration? <laughs> yes. To use against you. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> um, Tarquin, with your eagle eyes, very much not even accustomed to the darkness of Nil, almost comfortable in the darkness of Nil, you see a faint glimmer from a piece of the torn, kind of mangled armor of one of these remnants. Would you like to look closer? Yes, is it, is it safe to get closer? Yeah, seems it. You haven't right. melted so far. <laughs> None of you have melted so far. I would like to keep the other arm, you know, because I already <laughs> lost one, so... Fair for fair. <laughs> taking it carefully. But yeah, I would like to take a closer look. Um, you see kind of pinned onto their armor, somehow having survived like this one patch where their arm covered their chest, this completely maintained spot of kind of fabric armor and some slight chainmail. And on it is pinned a sigil. The sigil is in the shape of, somewhat in the shape of a sphere, um, which is being burst open by what appears to be some kind of wave that wraps around the sphere and drops downwards. Kind of creating this almost diamond shape overall, but with the sphere and this kind of very organic spiral of water downwards, as if embracing the world. Right. Roll a history check! And if you want to show it to anyone, they can yeah. also roll a history check. I got a 19. Got... Oh, nice. damn! Talk with them! Fire today! Give me them rolls. It's Tarquin showing, showing, yes. telling with the group. Hey guys, hey, look, guys at... look at what I found. <laughs> this looks nice. 
<laughs> you guys Anyone are knows what this is? I think I have what an idea. Oh. Ah. I mean, you history. don't have to roll oh, the history shit. check. You can guess. Doity 20. Ooh. 16. Ooh. Ludo don't know shit. Everyone knows. <laughs> Everyone except oh, yeah. Kenry and Ludo, who are just like sticking each other's tongues out at each other. And yeah. shit. Just, mm. <laughs> Imitating Tarquin. Hey guys, look at. Hey guys, oh, that's making my, my brain feel good. Look at my little thing. <laughs> uh, right. So. Everyone has been hearing the conversations of the day. Everyone has been paying close attention to the very scary uh, Madame Throws. Um, Madame Throws down, more like. Oh. Um, everyone has kind of been refreshed a bit on the purpose of their journey, which is somewhat easily forgotten with all the shenanigans and distractions, which is valid. Hmm. You know, we've heard this name we've heard this story of banishment we've heard this little sea angel is it more is it more and almost as you're kind of all looking at this sigil and looking at each other it was a sea angel. Why was it a sea angel? Mm. Why is this area resembling being submerged in water? Why have we heard this person's name so much if there's no relation? One could safely assume this is the sigil of a follower of Isithmal. And though they are but corpse and skeleton, melted into new shape by the pressure of a blast and wave of pure arconic energy, the bones are not that rotten. The bones are not that old. There's no distinct thought or realization that says Isithmal still exists. But the fact that someone has a sigil that has been made, that has been crafted, someone that has found a wellspring of pure arconic energy with the potential to grant as much life and power or cause as much death and destruction as it can. Isithmel is present and has followers. It's very hard to have followers if you're dead and gone and forgotten. And real quick, what was the history of Isithmal again? They were a hero and then they got betrayed. They were um, supposedly one of the people that helped repair the world when it was broken at the beginning, what people now call the beginning of time as we know it, um, which is approximately 821 years ago. Um, so it is around the year 821 currently. Um, and yeah, the, the beginning of time for people is the year zero. There are theories that there was time before then, but ain't nobody fucking mm -hmm. know because something happened, the world was torn asunder, and um, 
the ancient ones had to be appealed to to weave the world back together with magic. Um, the very land you started on Ash Sky is one of the remaining floating cities because there were a very few number of cities that were not fully able to be reattached to the world, but they're still within its kind of earthly layer, so it's able to not float away forever. But it does have to kind of be arcanically chained down, so it doesn't just wee! <laughs> um, but yes, uh, for some, somehow they were betrayed, or someone betrayed them, it is unclear, and um, they were punished. And if that is true, and if that happened, it was probably 800 odd years ago, 700 odd years ago. It is beyond any living person's memory. So it's weird that they are back in Nil with active followers. It is strange that it is any... It is like the dragon. It is strange that it is any more than a theory coming out of someone. It is strange than it, it, that it is any more than some fan art that someone did in a book. You know, someone's like, has a podcast of Isophrian conspiracy theories and they're like, oh, stop bringing up fucking Isithmal. Like, it's not a thing. The world was just woven back together by the ancient ones and then they left us the fuck alone and we had to just rebuild humanity. Like, whatever. All of this new stuff, all of the tale, the, <laughs> the tales of the torn veiling, all of the torn, <laughs> the veils being torn, all of this new arcanic mixing between the Feylands um, and Isifrey, the increased presence of Arcana, the increased presence of Fey spirits and Fey folk and all of this is, it's been happening slowly. But as Itirin said to you, the fact that the veil has been torn is a suggestion that this is beyond just some ar slight arcanic shift. There is something proactively happening that is bringing in the dawn of a new era. A lot of big things happening. And a lot of big things happening. And you guys are right in the middle of it. And if it's a yeah. thought is real... There is a lot of evidence of them in this region. But as far as we know, Isith Mal is good. Other than the fact we that they were punished know. for something. They were seemingly punished for something. The, there was mention of them within the dragon. But beyond that, morality is a big old question mark. Hmm. Some people take the story of being betrayed as having Isith Maul as a victim. Some people theorize that they must have done something for other a group of other people to yeet them and do some punishment for them. Ludo's, uh, them. Ludo's eyes go white and his head rolls back in his neck. And in his mind, he's like, hey, Isimic. <laughs> so casual. <laughs> yes. You know anything about the? Uh, oh, <laughs> I like the way you say my name. Uh, do you know anything about Isitmal? What would you know? Well, I don't know. He was a good guy, but then he got in trouble, and now maybe he's back. I don't know. Maybe because you're a god, you might know something. You hear the wings kind of tremble behind you and the cool breath of Esimic on your shoulder and neck. There is an uncertainty there. Give me time. I may yet find some help for you thank you by the way when you have time i want to talk to you i i think i have some good news for you what's that uh, i think i found a way for us to become even closer key presses x to doubt <laughs> <laughs> 
I am. Um, that's me. And what would that be? We're busy right now. I'll talk to you later. You find out about Isit Mall, and later I'll talk to you about my big plan. I think you're gonna like it. Roll a persuasion check for me. A flat persuasion check. Uh, can I give myself guidance? <laughs> Esophic guidance? No! <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Very good shout. Okay, no. good. 17. <laughs> lucky good. fucking bastard. You're a lucky are bastards indeed. today. Indeed. You know this? You are lucky <laughs> fucking bastards. I'm not trying to kill you. Mm -hmm. I was like, I did not plan big shit to kill you guys, but there was a lot of potential for bad things to happen today. Rules? Hmm. Hmm. Later. Yeah, I see me. Do you have faith in me? I do. That's why I've been thinking about what we can do together. Is Luther telling the truth? Nothing yeah. but the truth and nothing but the whole truth. Yeah. Okay. He in no way wants to break ties with SMA. Gotcha. Then this time I too shall have faith in you. Do not mislead my faith. <laughs> and the feathers fully wrap around you. And your head snaps back into place. He does a big snore um, like somebody with sleep apnea. <laughs> Sm Small is just <laughs> looking at Luda with incredible concern. <laughs> yeah, Esimic doesn't know anything either, guys. You're... You're with Esamek? You follow Esamek? Yeah. Why? Well, I guess some crazy stuff as far as I've heard. Not to judge or anything. Oh, seems... Seems nice. Maybe he needs to pick up his voice a little quiet, but... Nice. I still oh. see you, my child. I know. <laughs> Luda like says that and kind of does like a little, little girly simper. Kind of. Mm, I know. I don't like this web, but what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear that in tones to Kinnery. It's like. Small made a swear word. Small made a... No, I did No, I didn't! He's lying! Yes, you did. He's not lying. Yes, you did. No, I Small did, made but I feel really word. bad about Small it! Made Small made a swear word. We're dancing word. around her. <laughs> I feel bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Every... She just goes around, like, doing a little bow to everyone and saying I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Why is... Why is the child sorry? Probably just confused. <laughs> Probably confusion. It's a, it's, it's a... It's a grown woman. I meant it in a endearing fashion rather than a patronizing mm. one. Yeah, you seem really eager to help. <clears throat> but I think uh, first things first, we should get out of here. I agree. Who's got what passive perception? Mm -hmm. 16 passive perceives. Okay. 14. Okay. 13. Mudo is asleep at the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> asleep at the wheel, passive perception. My passive perception is honk me me me. <laughs> okay. 
she got an 18. Ooh. Secrets, can you keep it? Doing secrets. Okay. You all carry on as usual. May I? Um, yeah. yeah, what's up? May I open up my sack of catnaps? <gasps> I wish it would. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Eight. Eight, eight, eight. Where's eight? There we go. Oh, number eight. <laughs> uh, is that... charge off. That is Saber Tooth Tiger. Wow. The most unfortunate of the cats. Why? <laughs> Uh, saber tooth tigers went extinct because they couldn't eat their prey with the fangs. Oh. So they could kill them, but then because the fangs were in front of their mouth, they couldn't physically eat the things they caught. Gods are funny. Maybe you make us some know. goofy ass shit. <laughs> that's why I always get mad at creature designs that's like, this saber toothed animal has lived for millennia. It's like, no, it fucking hasn't. It's died <laughs> out. It go hungry. Cannot hum num. <laughs> Teeth too big. <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> well, I throw uh... some meat out and. Uh... See, we see a little. We hopefully we're moving away from the upward oh, yeah, yeah. waterfall. <laughs> you just throw the meat into the arcana. <laughs> <Get it. laughs> Cloud of saber tooth tiger. <laughs> it's a bit of gold starts to form in the mist, and then suddenly two bright lights and two long bits of ivory. And out steps a saber-toothed tiger. Comes over, give them good pets and everything on their tummy. And then I look to them with the back of my hand. I take the back of my hand and I rub it down against my cheek. And then I point to Camellia and I shoo him off. And the saber-toothed tiger goes over to Camellia and starts going around Camellia's legs. Like a small cat would, but really, really fucking big. Oh, mm -hmm. nuzzling legs. Just chuffing the and whole if... way. I has to keep I you company. Chuff. And if you wish, some of the cats in his bag are big enough to ride. Camellia could probably ride the saber tooth. Absolutely. Sorry, saber teeth. <laughs> Bifon has started to notice that she's looking a little weak, so... I have I have officially oh. noticed something's not right with Camellia <laughs> during this conversation. So. Oh, Camellia oh. whiting, kitty kit. Hey, kitty. Uh, thanks, be fun. She'll climb on top of Saber Tooth. <laughs> you know, I, I I also have Winnie too. She holds up <laughs> tiny Winnie. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the fur would be a slight more of a comfort. You're looking a little slides tired. off. Sorry, Winnie. <laughs> slides off when he just <laughs> Thanks. Incredible footage. And for all I know, I I don't know what the relationship is, so Winnie might also have an issue with the sun. I don't know. Put put Winnie on um Saber Two Tiger's head. <laughs> like a hat. <laughs> Frog crown. Sabertooth Tiger's name is Phil. Phil! I'll try to remember that. Chat! Phil. Phil. <laughs> Phil. You have to say it like you're saying it through some long Sabertooth Phil. teeth. Hi guys, my name is Phil. <laughs> um, I'm a Sabertooth I'm a, I'm a saber, saber Tiger. <laughs> Speaking is really easy. <laughs> if I can but speak at public events, so can you. <laughs> 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 I love, I love Phil. Um, Phil. And he's got his retainers in. <laughs> and he's got retainers. He's got wonky teeth and some teeth. 
Phil Again. of Toastmasters. My, my name is Phil. <laughs> That's a lot of tooth. <laughs> oh, am amazing. Amazing. <laughs> so, as you continue forwards, hopefully this music is not scary. Yeah. That'll, that'll, yeah. That, that'll do. Uh, you, well, Bifon and uh, Illumir, who's not here right now, um, he, you both feel the path leading you um, towards one of the areas where the rain is falling upwards. And you see beneath, there is what appears to be some kind of upside down uh, cavern and waterfall within it that is generating this rain. And it, not only does it look like it is the way to go, but it looks like it's pretty easily climbable to get down there. Describe. Through these kind of... Oh, don't know what a nice description is, uh, other than <laughs> moist tunnels. Uh, <laughs> These kind of, um, almost like the, uh, a cave layer at the back of a waterfall, just kind of slightly dewy, dewy, cavernous tunnels. There we go. That's Happy slightly Easter better. Valentine's days. Ugh. Fucking dewy, cavernous tunnels. So I'm going to chat up the next gal I talk to. <laughs> <laughs> like you have very dewy caverns. Excuse me, what? Is it, um, <laughs> eh? uh, <laughs> but you will manage to climb down there uh, fairly easily. It does not take too much effort to not slip on the water. It just is a matter of going slowly and safely. And there is still light somehow creeping in through uh, various almost kind of... Um, slightly more crystalline transparent areas to the rock face walls where you do see kind of a similar environment to the one you just climbed down from as this cave system system that got worse as this cave system uh, continues and you've been walking for half an hour to an hour you find what appears to be a small um, corner to the side that leads down a corridor to a seemingly more um, habitable area. While it is not pinging of uh, the way to go, it certainly seems like a place of interest and or good shelter, if safe. Okay. Could be a good place to make rest. If there's no through route. Well, Al said it might take one more day. So, yeah, what's, what say you, group? Will we stop for a moment? Also, thank yeah. you for, thank you, DM, for <laughs> not being like, okay, roll. Okay, you rolled low. So you slip and you fall and you crack your neck. Roll another character. <laughs> No, so I'm I'm biding my time. <laughs> there will so after be a time long rest, that. you leave the cavern. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, it's really funny because as you begin to go to sleep in the cavern, all of the baddies come out that your uh, twenty-two perception did not see, um, and they're like super powerful, and they immediately put you into magical rest uh, and sleep, even if you are immune to magical sleep. It doesn't matter. Um, There's a cave in. After several months, you eventually all eat each other. <laughs> <laughs> that would suck. Now that that would that would be pretty. And no one ever found your stuff. corpses. <gasps> but yeah, you guys want to take a little stop? Yeah. Mm -hmm. hey. As you go in, 
You do not need to share this. It is merely for base reference. Uh, you find this kind of... Not... You wouldn't say it's currently being habitated, but it seems to have previously been habitated. Um, kind of little uh, subterranean uh, living quarters. Oh. And you see that there's um, slightly fancier, like almost semblance of wallpaper. It's more like um, a slightly old abandoned regal house that has somehow put its rooms inside a cave system somewhere. Um, mm. So it's all quite nicely decorated. There's kind of this rich red panelling um, and wallpaper. There's some oaken furniture. Um, there's like a little hallway. Um, as you can see on your little map that does not need to be shared. Uh, area 4 is where you enter. That's kind of the curve um, that you came in on. And it's the foyer area. Uh, area 5 is a hallway to the next major section of the building. Can uh, I share it? Is you it can okay if, if you I want to, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's not illegal, it's just not very pretty. Illegal. <laughs> I'm not good at <laughs> stairs. <laughs> wow. That's not very pretty. Cinemax Media makes maps like that. That's a, that's a fucking ESO dungeon right there. <laughs> that's an ESO dungeon. A, oh my god. I made it in a generator online. <laughs> I like it. It's nice. Thank you. It is it currently on the, the screen. Fiber. Yay. Um, yeah, so four is the foyer, five is the hallway. One is kind of the dining area that adjoins directly onto an area with a larger table um, with no chairs around it. Um, and the area from two to three uh, goes up some stairs, um, some kind of rickety wooden stairs to a slightly higher up area. Some very well drawn stairs. That is... Got it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, five foot spaced apart stairs. Um, but you can explore this area. That's just for reference. It does not mean you can necessarily safely get from one area to the other. That's just for reference. But yes, you start out at number four in the foyer, where there is indeed um, kind of a small side table with a couple of um, spent candles on them, um, and a couple of other side tables either side of the room. And then, of course, an open door towards the hallway. Again, though, it's possible that it could be trapped. Can I break immersion for something incredibly terrible? Of course Absolutely. you may. Absolutely. Sweet. I just put a few fries in my mouth and I got a short, sharp one uh, uh, that got stuck in the space underneath your tongue lengthwise, not widthwise. No. No. Okay. Enjoy the rest of your day. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm, it stabbed me pretty hard, but I'm good. Well, I'm going to heal you. <laughs> you take 1d10 of piercing damage. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna heal you a DA. Absolutely pierced, man. Jeez. Fuck, I only healed you by one. That's <laughs> all I need. <laughs> You're you. conscious again. <laughs> but yes, this is the room you currently find yourself in. In the hallway. Nice. Any of you guys uh, good at finding traps or anything? Otherwise, I can just Ooh. walk through it, and then if I get hurt, I'll just heal myself. <laughs> no. <laughs> DM! <laughs> I have to roll like a to find them all first. over again. Let's try to find them first. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. It's just... It's just... <laughs> It's that fucking, it's that meme where like the doors closed and you see like a white bang behind yeah, it serious. and someone just goes, ah! <laughs> it's like, that's Ludo. It's like, I'm gonna go check if there's trap in there. Opens door, closes door. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I, uh, I open the fridge and I go, <laughs> and I snap my fingers and point inside to Kenry. Who too? To Kenry. Why am, I, why am I getting in the fridge? If there's traps, I don't want you to get hurt. I can just stay out here. You 
Oh, is there like an outside area, like far away area where everybody else is? Yeah, so everyone's currently in area four, which is just like kind of a, corrid a through corridor um, that you've come to a stop in because it's got interesting. Okay. Um, and there's just a side, a couple of side tables and stuff here. They do have drawers, but um, this area itself doesn't seem explicitly trapped because no one's exploded yet. I will yeah. uh, lie down calm in like a line across the hallway <laughs> and I will set uh, <laughs> friends down on Colm's hip and inform friends that Kinry is not to pass this Colm line. <laughs> you are allowed to hurt him and take out his eyeballs if he disagrees. What? Yeah, that so don't. That's not fair. He'll do it. <laughs> I'm all for this plan. This is a good plan. Anybody got some good investigation? I'd like to see this as a example of your work, if I may. Shit. But I am here should you need help. <laughs> this is not our strong point, y'all. I have <laughs> plus zero, but I have all the will zero. in the world to do it. <laughs> there you go. I That's don't give a the shit. the energy we like to see. Are we plus zeros across Ooh. the board? I got a plus three, but I'm also rolling a disadvantage. Oh. Let's do it. Come on, we're going to fight. I have a plus one, but Hang I was going to roll for survival to make sure structurally the place is all right, too. Let me, let me have a look at the boys. We um, got it. Yeah, Luma is a plus two. But hey, isn't obviously a per, 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 permanent member. Yep, Muslim. So this is kind of fudging with the rules a little bit. But, oh, is it now? Yeah, so cool. Ludo's got this thing, courtesy of Isimip, uh -huh. it's called Healing Light. And it says it's like a radiant light and you can use it to heal somebody. If I were to blow my Healing Light resources Whoa. on, sorry, if I were to expend, sorry, uh, <laughs> my Healing Light resources, <laughs> would it be able to suffuse uh, Camellia with enough light, like actual light? to maybe make her feel all right for a while. You just said, I don't know, it just says radiant healing light, light stuff. I also, I also have fairy fire and dancing lights. So if we all conjure lights, maybe we can do yeah, just like we channel all our light power. <laughs> like in it's, just, it's just a rave. It's like, is this sunlight chameleon? It's just like, <laughs> it's just overstimulation. It's JC. Bomb. Yeah. High or low, buddy? It's low for Ludo. Doesn't sound good. Hmm. One more time, higher low. <laughs> it's always it's always low for Ludo. <laughs> Gotta stick with it. The bugger of it is <laughs> I would allow it to alleviate one point of exhaustion. Which still leaves Camellia rolling disadvantage on skill ability checks okay well if it makes her feel better i'll still do it yeah it makes her feel a little bit better yeah oh okay. you know what like i like i like your style it will for a small amount of time of real time make it spicy for a small amount of real time it will alleviate all disadvantage rolls Yay. And I will put it at four minutes real time. Oh shit, go, quick. <laughs> Five minutes real time, starting now. Uh, that's all I got. Uh, good luck. I don't know how long it's gonna last. <laughs> push her through the, <laughs> the corridor. Push her directly to the tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Camille, you do see something Holy resembling sunlight enough that in this room it feels like you could be oh, above shit. England. <laughs> I'm claiming um, that. I'm taking at least half the priority, uh, half the credit for that. Fuck, Give me all the go. credit. <laughs> <laughs> so, Camellia, you're in the hallway, which is number five. You do not find any traps. 
None here. Okay. <laughs> Camille just speed running. <laughs> Strap Ooh. run. Okay, room. I'm rolling survival checks one. to check the structure and make sure nothing's living in here. Okay. <laughs> area number one, Camellia. Area number one, Camellia to area number one. Uh, let me see. Let me catch up on these rowels. Uh, beef on survival. Um, within areas four, five, and one, there are no living beings that you know of. You would need to go deeper in. Well, hey. Um, uh, happy Valentine's Day. You would need to go deeper in to know if there are any. Living creatures <laughs> further mm -hmm. in to the dewy cavern and infrastructure is fine. It's caving, caving in. Here's me using too. gerbils like a casual. Do I get inspiration? Because that works. Yes, you do. <laughs> it's not dialogue, though. Yes, but... you do. <laughs> no, nah, but it was the right time for it. Thank you. <laughs> the deeper in you go. All right, what's the second investigation, Camellia? <laughs> it's rolling. 13. 13. To your knowledge, there are no traps <laughs> in area one. <laughs> area doesn't... two, and then area three to go. So, Beef, on your potentially safe to go to area one and investigate to see if you can sense any living creatures. I roll a 12. Um, there definitely aren't in two. You would need to go further in with a 12 to tell okay. area three. <clears throat> Camille with a 22! Um, there are no traps in areas two and three. So there are, to your knowledge, no traps anywhere. If there were traps, they'd probably be in area one, but you don't know if there are. There could be, but they probably aren't. Yeah, this is fine. And you've got another minute and 45 seconds until <laughs> your sunlight runs out. You'll still feel better, but it won't give you the uh, full alleviation. So, seemingly all areas are trap free. If you guys would like to explore the areas, you may list an area you would like to visit and I will describe if there is anything there of note. Unless Beef yes. is going straight for area three to see if there's anything living there. I'm going straight to area three to investigate. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nineteen. What nice. Did I find in area three. Well, you see, area three seems to be somewhat of a study. Um. And kind of. Back legs on the desk, on back legs on the chair, and front legs on the desk, seemingly playing with a pen. You see a familiar little cat, a Grimishka. Roll a stealth check initially, just to check whether it notices you or not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, you need to beat an 18. I rolled fucking high. Oh, what it just... <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the cat is real just... Oh, that's the camellia. Camellia! The sun mm -hmm. no longer... The sun bothers you. The sun... No, the lack of sun bothers you again. Um, I was like, what is that? Blah, blah. Who's calling? Um, but you you do feel you do feel alleviated in your heart, but it's like you don't you get disadvantage again, unfortunately. Um, yeah, the the Grimishka is like fully playing with this this uh, fountain pen. Okay. 
batting it across the table. What would you like to do, Buffon? Yeah, we are out of here after whatever, after a short rest or whatever it is we're going to do here. I don't, I don't need a dead deer on my hand. <laughs> no, I didn't think it would, I didn't think it would hit so soon. Yep. Mm. Oh no, it's just back to the level of exhaustion she was at before. Oh, that was the five minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought. No, you're good. Oh, we well, I was three clear already. No, she's at level seven actually. So not only <laughs> she's <laughs> dead, <laughs> she's come back to haunt you. Um, she's a wraith. <laughs> I'm going to roll a perception check. Okay. On on this kitty friend, you know, friend or foe. What are they up to? How you know? Whatever I can suss out. You get that at advantage because you have I don't got. Need it. <laughs> what did you get? <laughs> I got it at advantage. What? Because because uh, I managed a stealth check. <clears throat> um, because you, I believe you have a Gramishka in your cat cat of bag cat bags. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cat bag cat bag. Yeah, Twenty six with a natural. Damn. What do you want to know about this cat? Everything. <laughs> Everything. Um, its armor class is approximately 12. It has 10 <laughs> hit points and a speed of 30 feet. Um, uh, this, you do notice, um, this cat has a little collar with a bell around its neck. Kind of a little blue collar with a bell around mm. its neck. Uh, gently dingling. Um, but no seemingly apparent name tag. Um... Generally, a lot of Grimishkas do understand common, but obviously cannot speak. They also have a magical allergy, which is immediately after a creature within 30 feet of the Grimishka casts a spell, the Grimishka can spontaneously react to the magic um, oh, with various way. effects. Mm -hmm. um, it does not currently seem to have noticed you. Um... It is very enamored with this pen. It is probably possibly tameable, if not best to scoot out of uh, this area because magic is very likely to happen at some point while you're either resting or investigating in here. But there is also room in the sack of cat now. Do I get to summon dual Grishkas? That would be fucking cool. That isn't what I thought of, but I'll go with it. <laughs> well, I will... <clears throat> I will reach in and specifically <gasps> pull out a tiny piece because uh, I don't want to summon anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A tiny piece of uh, the, 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 the meat Grimishka. that the Grimishka likes. Yeah. Okay, you do so. Mm, Takes a second approach. to find it because <laughs> there's a whole lot of different meats in there. <laughs> and uh, approach very jingle, calmly, jingle, jingle. confident, and uh, say hi. And you see this slightly... Um, gangly um almost sphinx cat um that's melted a little bit looking creature um it's got very kitten like eyes it can't be as um old as kind of the usual uh adult gramishkas it's not a kitten by any means but it's definitely on the younger side kind of these mm. big deep blue eyes and large black pupils and sees you bringing up um some kind of food. Initially, it just hops on the desk and kind of backs away. It's little t rat tail kind of poking between its legs. I'm gonna hold it out, smile, lean over the desk a little bit, just wait. Roll an animal handling check for me, please. At an advantage. Yo. Okay. Wee, wee, wee. Uh-huh. Mm. Sixteen. That'll do it. Kind of 
gently. You do the, you do the thing at cats where you blink slowly to show that you mean no harm. And it kind of looks you up and down, looks at the food, looks at you, looks at the food, looks at you, looks at the food again. Looks back at you. And just very slowly blinks it at its eyes. Kind of begins to move forward and kind of tries to pour the little bit of food out of your hand. <laughs> With its claws retracted. Do you let go of the food? I'm, I'm make it easy. I'm gonna I'm let them, you know, play with it and try to get it, but I'll, I'll let it go easily. Okay. You see, at the end of the day, she kind of picks up the piece of food with both hands and kind of sits on her haunches and eats it, and her little, like, naked cat belly pooch <laughs> appears. <laughs> and she just. <laughs> Just a little bell, just ding, ling, ling. I want to take a look at the pen. Okay. It is an ordinary fountain pen. In fact, Ooh. you see that there is a um, kind of like a masonry jar that has uh, far more fan fancy and seemingly uh, elegant fountain pens in there. Um, very much more decorated and beautiful and one of them even, even has a fucking feather in it and this cat's like nah I'm gonna get that basic shit and fuck with it that's fun as shit <laughs> cause cat um... I would like to examine the collar yeah it is um, just kind of a blue and like a baby blue and slightly purple uh, string woven collar um, it's just tied on at the back, very plain and simple. Um, not too tight, not too loose, and it's just got a little silver bell at the front. I would like to investigate the car. <laughs> okay, roll an investigation check. That's another 20. It is, for all intents and purposes, for a man who's been studying the arcana. <laughs> Purple string and blue string that has been woven together by twisting it. And then a bell has been looped on it. <laughs> and then it has been tied around the cat's neck. <laughs> Since it seems to be okay with me being this close, I will give it some pets and um, ask who its owner is. And I will do that. Um, I will do that with uh, speech of beast and leaf. Ooh. Um. How do you, how do you ask it, if I may ask? Oh, I just ask normally. You're kind of. But I want I want to make sure it understands me. I'm not just saying it just to say it. Yeah. And then it kind of hops off of the desk and goes over to a little kind of filing cabinet that it uses as stairs to hop up to another <laughs> kind of bookshelf and um, begins pouring at some of the books. Um, we shall cut away for this part um, and return back to Kitty Shenanigans uh, later. What is everybody else doing at this point? <laughs> Probably just hanging out. <laughs> is it? Did, did we get the all clear that it's uh, no traps? Yeah, really, you probably you got went the back all and clear. Like, yeah. yeah, there's no traps. Just as the kind of, um, not so much the lights went out, but the lights dimmed a bit, and Camellia's exhaustion kind of began to seemingly affect her searching skills once again. Is there a kitchen? So this is like a. The house, right? Like somebody lives here, a home? It, it gives that vibe, yeah. All right. Any kind of like cooking area? Um, You see that area one is a dining room. And it does have a little kind of a very small kitchenette um, with a couple of kind of uh, preparation services and a cupboard. Okay, no the, fridge. Does this place appear to be lights. like long abandoned? Not 
long abandoned, but there there hasn't been anyone here for at least a good month or so. Okay. Any food stuffs that's you know keeps for a long time? You can certainly roll an investigation check and find out. Ooh. I would say an advantage, because you're hungry. <laughs> I'm hungo. Oh, nice nine. It's a, um, it's a natural nine, by the way. Oh, fuck! You didn't say that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you see, um, on one of the shelves, uh, wrapped it partly wrapped in what appears to be some kind of greaseproof paper, are some edible looking uh crackers biscuits all right cookies question mark hard to tell but they indeed look like things that are edible all right is it cool if i call them weird cave biscuits absolutely weird cave i would biscuits. dream of nothing else <laughs> <laughs> added hell yeah and there are nine of them. Ooh. It appeared that there were more in there, but obviously they were so delicious someone took the first two and decided that, you know, they couldn't take the flavor anymore. Um, yes. Okay, what are we talking about in terms of taste here? Do you try one? Yeah. Ooh, like roasted sand. And yeah. um, just like it's been glued together, uh, it's pretty, pretty rock hard, pretty stale. It, it is edible. Could okay. Always is this use like, it for like a cheesecake base. I was gonna say, is this wanted... like a, is this food or is this like a cleaning material? No, it is food. Okay. It is technically food. <laughs> it is just not good food. <laughs> Punishment. And it food. is edible. It will it will feed you. It will not cause happiness. Alright. Um, I'll find a way to make this delicious. This is a portal of Britain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a this is a bunker. <laughs> just some just some bunker crackers. That's what Ludo's doing. Hell Hell yeah. What's everybody else doing? I want to check if there's something interesting, maybe some loot. Oh, hell yeah. So there are three side tables in room four uh, that you can, I would say you can roll one investigation check per room to see if you find anything of a real note, unless there is anything you want to search specifically hard in. Um, there is a long kind of side cabinet in the hallway in area five. In area one, you will find a side table uh, with another slightly used candle in the corner that does have a drawer. Uh, area two has a large table with some interesting looking papers on it, but more importantly, a cabinet in the back corner. Uh, Bifon is currently in area number three, which has a mix of bookcases, trunks, chests, desks, and other booky nerd things. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, I'll go with uh, two. Area number two, please. All right. Yeah. Give it a investigation roll, please. Sixteen. Sixteen. <laughs> In area number two, 16. Um, you find uh, 30 gold coins worth of bits and bobs. So necklaces, trinkets, just junk that can be sold. Um, you also find a suspicious area under this central kind of slate stone table but you're not quite sure how to open it something like a, a hidden mechanism or something it appears that there is some kind of 
um, a divot underneath the table where a drawer can fit, and you can kind of see the outline of it, but there's no apparent way to get the drawer out. There's no, like, handle or keyhole or opening on it. All right. So, uh... Light of hand, the will do the trick, right? You can try. Oh, I'm trying. Do it. Like the fucking seat. I wish you would. I'm just gonna start. There are twenty. <laughs> oh hell yeah! That at twenty. Okay, huh? I suppose you do it. Oh, I will. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Um. Oh, as sorry. you're kind of trying to just pick it open or find some mechanism on the inside. Um, you find that whatever you're using catches on what's ever inside the drawer and that you're able to pull it out <laughs> without opening the drawer itself. And within it, you find a scroll of protection from Fae. Which you can add to your inventory. Nice. That's gonna be useful. Mm, possibly. <laughs> Community is like, I need that. <laughs> Give that to me. <laughs> Please. What's com speaking of? What is Camellia up to? Uh, she's probably vibing back with everybody. Okay, I talk to mom. Oh. Okay. Yeah, mom, mom and everyone else is hanging out in Area 4. So you are welcome to do as you wish in there. Uh, mom, can we... Can we talk? Of course. Um, um, I'm sorry that I left without saying anything. I appreciate that. Are, are you mad or...? More than anything, it... It was a shock. It felt like a betrayal. It felt underhanded. I understand if you would have your reasons, but I would like to have hoped there would be another way to deal with it, other than just running. Yeah. Yeah? Sorry, real quick, can we get some, like, dramatic mom talk music? Oh. <laughs> no. Yeah, of course. Do you want creeping dread? Yes. <laughs> no, um... It will go... Is this one? No, it's not that one. Um... Just like boss music plays. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> might accidentally. This one might be too extreme, so we'll we'll give it we'll give it a second. Oh no. This this <laughs> oh, fuck. I would have hoped there was some other way to sort it out. I I tried talking to you, but you I don't know, it felt like you dismissed me whenever I wanted to talk about anything other than the Fragmentium. And that's what you should have told me then. Well, I'm telling you now. Better late than ever. I suppose. Do you fear me? No, Mom, I... She's I... gonna insight check the fuck out of that. Are, are you telling the truth? Telling yeah. a lie? Telling a white lie? Not really. She's not scared scared. 
Okay, because that is a 23. So. <laughs> Forgot she has fucking mad shit. I'm not scared of you, Mom. I just... I was scared of how you'd react. How you'd feel about me not wanting to do what you do. And why were you afraid of my reaction? <laughs> you can... You can kind of be scary sometimes, but... I'm not scared of you. I suppose what I meant more was... Why do you think I respond that way? I'm... You've been pushing my entire life for me to do this thing, and... I... I don't know. I'm not here to blame you... for this... breakdown of communication. Nor to guilt you. I... Merely would hope that... More consideration would be put into... Why I have done this. As if it is not my first nature... To push you into something you do not want to do. Sorry, we... It is right. nothing to apologize for. I just hope that you understand now. Or can take the time to... Empathize. As I have... So desperately tried and failed to do with you. Yes, Mom. I think we can start with the fact that I don't want to work for the Fragmentium. I've always understood that. I've never explained well enough. Why... I still push. Nor am I sure that I can explain at all. I understand the irony of my forceful hand and my secrecy. I do. The hypocrisy. But there are things beyond you and I both. There are things beyond the Fragmentium. We've seen it with our very eyes, merely the last day. A dragon. A potential fallen deity who was once only in fables and theories. A wellspring of pure arcana that should not exist. A member of the Osprin Council targeting you all directly for reasons maybe you know, but I do not. There are things that are above us. And I am only sorry that you have become entangled in them, too. 
even your avoidance or attempted avoidance of them has led you down the same road in the end it would seem it was my choice even though it wasn't necessarily my direct choice I made the choice to leave home I made the choice to stay with my friends and face all of these things together and you almost died yesterday but I didn't I've gone through so much in the small time I haven't been home <laughs> you wouldn't even believe it but wouldn't I am I truly so insolent to you I've gone through things I wouldn't have even imagined, Mom. And I'm fine, for the most... I have my friends, we're... We're in this together. They <laughs> have known me for less than a month at this point. We have gone through life and death situations together. And <laughs> they treat me like family. So yes, we're... I I'm in a weird situation. And it's a lot, and... <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> but again, it's my choice. Regardless of what you want me to do, how, what path you want to try to make for me. Ultimately, it's my life. I wish I could say more. It's not a life I want to make for you. I need you to understand something. You are grown. You are not of my blood. I understand that. I swore to fulfill my duty here and to protect you. And I have done that to the best of my ability. Should you continue and pursue this path, I cannot guarantee your safety. Do you understand? Yes, Mom. There is no reason to call me Mom. You can if you so wish. I will not stop you. It may be easier for the both of us if you do not. What? But... You raised me. You... You're the reason I'm here. You planted the fey seedling. You... And I cannot be the reason you perish. My failures cannot be the reason you perish. What failure is this? These are my choices, Mom. that I could tell you more. Why can't you? There are things that are above both of us. That are above team, that are above family. More secrets? Not secrets. So, I suppose one could see them that way. But 
Mimia, I need you to know that I care for you deeply. I know. Remember that. With whatever comes, I will still try to help where I can if you would have that. If distance would be easier, I understand. But either way, from this point forth, I cannot promise your protection. Beyond that, I cannot guarantee, I cannot... I cannot even see how it would be possible. Unless we were in the same room. And I'm sorry it has to be that way. Is there and ever... I have failed you. You haven't. Is there ever really a guarantee for safety? Anywhere, anytime? Yes. <laughs> no. I know that you do your best. I know that everything that you've done for me, everything that you're currently doing is for me and my safety, but... There's only so much that you can do, and I, I i see it, I appreciate it, but now it's time for me to take care of me. And I still care about you, I really do, Mom. And, I and I'm, gonna, you. I'm gonna keep calling you Mom, too. Because it's weird to call you Riley. Sounds weird for anyone to call me Barley at this point. I appreciate your understanding. Now, go. Don't let your friends take all the loot. I would see you at work too, after all. Camellia looks over to the group then just looks at her mom and gives her a big hug. Aww. She puts her arm around her back and hugs her. I'll still be here until we make it to town. I know. I just haven't seen you in a while either. I can say the same. Keep running. Keep exploring. Don't look back. Not even once, not even a glance. You understand? Yes, Mom. Now, go. Find some loot, will you? <laughs> She resumes her slightly more managerial persona. While Key tries to keep her shit together. <laughs> uh, commute, uh, Rubes specifically take a point of inspiration because fuck. Yeah! <sighs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Rubes, you should join a D&D uh, &D live cast. Yeah. <laughs> you should do one of those. Uh, so sounds like, that sounds like Rube. a for nerds. I don't know. Mm. Rubes is like, nah, man, right. I don't know how I feel because like everyone hears a voice actor. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Rubes. Fucking <laughs> Rubes. Stealth. <laughs> Stealth feels. Oh, yeah, I check off crying if if you've got that on your fucking bingo card. Cross that off eight times. <laughs> oh. Whew. I don't know, I just make stuff. I don't know. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. Mm -hmm. Go stuff find some loot for your mom! Yay! But yeah, mom lore. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Ooh, shit. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so, Dime, how's it going with the cat? 
Uh, <laughs> let me find some. That was the wrong music to pick. That was too effective. Holy moly. Um, smells surprisingly good considering where we are. Um, it's just been pawing around in the. Uh, what is this? An yeah. office or something? Yeah, it's a study. <laughs> yeah, it's a one of the study. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so that's right. The um, the cat is kind of pouring at this book, and you see that um, it's someone's notebook, quite clearly, uh, or a page from someone's notebook that they've poured out of this book. And uh, they kind of grab it in between their teeth and just kind of crinkle it through the paper, just... and hop over to the desk and put it down on the desk. And you see that um, there is a variety of lines and dots on this page um, underneath corresponding uh, common alphabetical letters. Mm. <coughs> I have to assume that's Braille? Um, is that what you just described? <laughs> It is more like a Morse code sheet. Ah. Ah. Uh, am I able to interpret it? I mean, I guess... Um, investigation or animal handling check for me, please. I don't have uh, the actual Morse... You know what? I'll pull up the actual fucking Morse code list if you want. You have speak to animals, those. right? Is that, does that work? Hmm. Uh, I have speech of, be of beasts and leaf. Uh, yeah. So he can talk hmm. to cats, and the cat can understand common, but the cat cannot talk back. Mm. Or animal handling. Well, I'll. Uh, or I will see. just pull up an actual Insight. fucking Morse code list, and we will do it that way. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, I'm that's one of those down. things that I just totally forget. Okay, let me let me get the picture. <laughs> so um, funny. That wouldn't be investigation. <laughs> maybe oh, my insight would be just... maybe the closest. A little bit ass. Holy Wait, shit, ropes. Fucking can't can't believe you've done this. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking happy with yourself and you should be you should be <laughs> you bastard thank you oh my god that was way too hard to fucking copy a picture Maka just making their own bingo rules <laughs> I, th I Maka someone was wondering whether to count himself. it earlier, but one v one for dramatic conversation of that capacity, I, w I will allow. Um, <laughs> I've posted um, in the general chat time if you want to see the uh, Morse code okay. <laughs> list. <laughs> Everybody, get ready to play Grimishka Morse. <laughs> All right, then. Then I'll roll the animal handling. <laughs> For 16. Okay. Let's do this. Did you do that again? <laughs> okay. Okay. Don't make it too long on yourself. Uh huh. This is great. I love this.
think I missed a letter. <laughs> All of that. I did miss a letter. So it's a whale? No. I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, if you go... <laughs> the letter before the one I've just done... Mm -hmm. There is a letter I missed, which is... Really? <laughs> mm. Is this a name? Mm hmm I have Orca. Mm hmm It's not done. Oh. <laughs> the fact we're this good at it as well. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes. That was a little meow. Tada! Those are only two. It's a, it's a single name. So that was the end. The whole thing, yeah. <laughs> Orakala. Orakalka? You see the cat takes its paws. <laughs> and the one that is on your... Ah, oh, fuck. Um, which way do words go? The one that is on your right-hand side kind of moves towards the left a little bit. The one what that is on my right-hand side moves to the, the left? The paw. <laughs> So he's put one paw to your left and one paw to your right. And then he brings the right paw towards the left a little bit. Shorten it? That seemed to be a meow of confirmation with your animal handling <laughs> check. Orcala? You go through it again <laughs> for the sake of brevity. <laughs> and with your animal handling and check. Um, you get the name Orcalc. <laughs> We're so fucking close. Um, I have O R I C H A L C A. Yeah, there just wasn't an extra A on the end. But you went. <laughs> At the end. Which was a little I didn't, ta -da. I didn't, Oh. Oh, you meant literally a ta -da. Okay, yeah. gotcha. <laughs> ta -da. Ta -da. <laughs> nah, that's, that's a fair reason to miss it. That was great. Um, I love that for us. <laughs> didn't know how um, much shortened it was. Paws are yeah. thick. Okay, um, or a cow. That's a... That's a person? Um... To your knowledge, you may roll a history check if you want. That's what I'm about to do. I was asking the cat, though. <coughs> okay. <laughs> What's everybody else doing while cat rolls history? Meow. I rolled an eight. We've heard this name before? It doesn't ring a bell. Okay. Anybody else doing anything right now? Oh, hey, Camellia, how'd it go? Oof. Uh, all right. I mean, she's not telling me to go home. Okay. Accident. So the Feywild is still home. That's good. Right? Yeah. All right. 
and you are free to do whatever you want. Uh, that's kind of what you told me. Yeah, I'm. I can keep going with you guys. That's then good. That's great. Wonderful news. You know, I have a great way to celebrate. One second. Uh, where's before? Oh, it's okay. Uh, here, I made these delicious cookies. He's he's not far away. He can hear this entire. You can hear this conversation. Before we're having we're having, ce we're having celebration cookies. I hand them each a weird cave biscuit. Oh my god! <laughs> Here's to Camellia being a part of our group forever. To the breakfast club. Um, you will I also walk in see... with the cat under my arm. I pick <gasps> up the cookie and let them sniff it. <laughs> Just the little cat guy. <laughs> <laughs> Eat up, everybody. <laughs> Celebration cookies. I made them myself. Very delicious. What are these made of? Uh, so, put the cookie down. What are we celebrating? Uh, Rube's just, uh... I mean, sorry. Rube's <laughs> <laughs> Camellia just, uh... Just gonna... <laughs> Camellia... That's gonna hack the Rube's brain. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, please continue. <laughs> Camilla just talked to her mom. Everything went great. Oh, congrats. Mm -hmm. Yes, eat the cookie. <laughs> the cat so, sniffs it again. So I loot and wait for him to take a bite first. <laughs> I can just imagine Ludo doing the thing where he opens his mouth to the side and then pretends to just feed it into his mouth. <laughs> 18 sleight of hand check, DM. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, it passed it unless anyone is suspicious of Ludo, so I guess Camellia would immediately be. Um, people mm -hmm. can roll a perception check to see if yep. they, um, this is a bit sandy, but uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I really? have worse. You don't like uh, it? It is okay, yeah. <laughs> Tarquin, one so, time... So juicy, got nice texture. One time, Tarquin, you were... <laughs> you were, uh... Broom, brooming? Is that a thing? Brooming and cleaning up at the uh, monastery. And you found uh, one particularly old and dusty area that was just completely dry and just ne needed a really big deep clean. Um, and at one point, you almost sneezed, and in doing so, you accidentally inhaled a couple of fairly big dust bunnies. Um, they were slightly more flavorful and pleasant to eat than this cookie. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, it tastes like dirt, but <clears throat> but the, the worst kind of dirt. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's not my taste. I'm sorry, Luto, oh, but oh, you need to improve your cooking. Yeah, I guess I guess I guess I do. Sorry about that. Um, but, uh, maybe Ludo's Ludo seemed to eat it. Tarquin doesn't like it, but yeah, you I know, like Tarquin's kind of picky, so she'll break off a piece and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> the chef intoxicating us. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> What is this supposed to be? Sand. It is sand. You ate sand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you guys doing over here? Eating cookies. Here, have one. Oh! No, I couldn't possibly. They, you found them. Find us keepers. Losers don't get cookies. Oh, but come on. You, you've been through so much. You deserve a treat. Is anyone else joining in? Because it takes more than one person to peer pressure effectively. <laughs> um, I was going to stop a... small, but she's, she's too fast for me. <laughs> it's it's a persuasion check at advantage without the uh, peer pressure advantage. So, it's uh, yeah. Sadly, you will have to roll persuasion check at advantage, Ludo, to get small to eat this biscuit. <laughs> She got a six, so you need to beat a six. Oh my god. Oh, I only got a 23. 
Jeez. He's gonna eat them all. <laughs> wait, for, wait for me? Yeah. Oh, like I, I thought this was like a team building activity. I, I don't want to. Alright, well, we won't tell nobody. I won't tell nobody. Oh. <laughs> sure. Oh, okay. Hmm. I made that. Her face just stops making any emotions as <laughs> soon as the fight finishes. I put you a lot of effort it. into that. You can spit it out if you want. It's sand. Did you make this? <laughs> no, I found it. I don't know how long it was up there. Is the person who made it in this room? I don't think they're alive. <gasps> Just lets it drop out of her mouth. I'm sorry, no disrespect, but that was completely inedible. Yeah. I have allergies. I can't do stuff like that. No. <laughs> and just shudders out of nowhere. <laughs> Kitty, where did you get the cat? Just kind of comes over and gently just looks at it. She doesn't even pet it. Is that a new one out the bag? I was a study in the back room, um, found this little guy in there. Oh, I thought you pulled it out of the bag. Wow, new cat. Camila and cats speak with animals. <laughs> Somehow I wasn't prepared for that. Um, hmm. So we have friends here. We have Winnie here. Have been watching a lot of Ted Lasso. <laughs> Applesauce. Wow. All right, babes, how's it going? Oh. Uh, hello, what's your name? My name? Who wants to know? Well... I'm Camelia. <laughs> Sorry, I've got allergies. Gesundheit. Uh, the person you're oh. currently on is Bifon. I like that name. I'll have that name. Gesundheit. It's proper, like, exotic. Okay. You're, you want your name to be Gesundheit now? It's a really exotic name. Why wouldn't I want my name to be Gazuntai? Okay. <laughs> Sick. Who are you, Ben? Oh, uh, I'm. We're the Breakfast Club. Uh, we're here kind of trying to get out of nil. What are you doing here? <laughs> this is my home. Not to mention, you came in here uninvited. I'm sorry, we didn't realize there was anyone here. Oh, nobody thinks anything of a cat, do they? Little Grimishka. Don't mean nothing. Not a pretty cat with fur and without allergies. Why are you coming up to my man? <laughs> Your man? She kind of cocks her head back at Bifon and looks up at him. Bifon, you just hear her. Meow. And these two big blue, dark blue eyes looking up at you. Oop. Yeah, he <laughs> He's mine. You back off. Camellia's trying to hold back laughter. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh. You think this is funny? No, no, no. Everyone else, you hear a little. Well, aside from you, is there anybody else here? Does it fucking look like there's anyone else there, darling? Nope. It's just me and my allergies. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, she addresses the group. This is Kazoontite. Cat. Hmm. Cat? Is that all I get? <laughs> Sounds so impressive. 
Oh, what this is Gazunta. She's a cat. What happened to all its fur? How come it's ugly? Hey, what did that one say? Wait, I can understand Colin. I've just realized. I've just remembered. <laughs> <laughs> This one knows common. Hey! 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 Fuck you! And you just, <laughs> Ludo, you see this cat just turn to you. Just. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Look, it's, it's like it knows what I'm saying. Little dummy. I fucking know exactly what you're saying, you <laughs> fucking loud. Oh. I know exactly what. You can take your stupid fucking hat. And shove it where the sun don't shine. Which down here is fucking everywhere. Every orifice. Piece of shit. That's because... Just does a little cat spit. <laughs> understand. That's a very loud cat. The ugly cat understands me? Mm -hmm. What the fuck did the silver one say? Say it again. The cat turns its attention to you, Tarquin. <laughs> hey, cat. Are you hungry? I am actually, yeah, I'm pretty hungry. And just kind of the big, the big kitten eyes come back. <laughs> uh, looks like it understands. Uh, we have cookies, Luto. Do you have another cookie for the cat? Oh, yeah. All right, here. Don't bring that shit near my fucking face. I'll have your fucking fingers off and eat them instead. Well, look at it. It's very friendly. Mm. Yeah, maybe, maybe you give it to it, Tarquin. Probably been alone here for a while. Yeah, I have. And nobody fucking understands that. They're all just in here saying I'm ugly and shit. Nobody wants to know my fucking story. Well, what's your story? Well, I don't, maybe I don't want to tell you. I don't know you. Just trying to feed me these fucking sand biscuits. Nobody knows where my bloody dad is. Ugh. Who's your dad? Um, actually, my dad is part of the Oracle heraldry. They are one of the most prominent families in Nil. All right, darling. So, you should probably know that, shouldn't you? <laughs> well, I'm not from around here. That sounds like a skill issue. <clears throat> this cat's mean. <gasps> I'm oh. not mean! Looks up to beef on, like, the biggest kitten eyes. Oh, well, seems okay to me. Um, she also referred to you as her man. It's probably the bag. I don't know. Comes with some sort of magic that I don't completely understand just yet. Just nuzzles against your arm. <laughs> I, since you're chatting, um, how long has it been here? Uh, for a while. Ah, oh, for fucking ever, I'm bored. Please! Oh, just, I've been here for too long, innit? I don't know what time is. That's <laughs> a very you guys issue. I'm just a cat. I'm here to play with things. Have allergies. And then play with more things. Also ask, <laughs> uh... Who was here before? Who was their original owner? My dad! <laughs> just the... <laughs> my dad I told I told my man about him the man from the Oracle heraldry you might want to tell your little friends that been leaving that information out I can understand you a lot you know uh her, she's Oracle heraldry Camellia will relay that information <laughs> Min <laughs> Yeah, not really familiar with them. Also, I'm curious as to who exactly. I'd assume that this is their place. Also, what's it doing in Nil? In a cave? I 
that's a good question. I can't make really make a comment on my dad's, you know, preferences of the uh, interior design aspect. But he has a lot of friends around down here, so I imagine it was like some kind of bachelor cave or something. Except he was married, so I don't know really. What did Gaz say? Uh, she doesn't really know why uh, this cave in particular. Mm. That's right, my man. I don't know why at all. Meow. <laughs> well, maybe we should keep investigating, see if we find anything else. Mm -hmm. Gonna sit Gez next to um, Phil. <laughs> They're probably gonna be sharing a sack together. As soon as I figure out he fucking how to put this cat in the sack. Don't put me in the darkness. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to add cats to the bag <laughs> just lower it into the bag and see what happens um she will nuzzle against your leg and be like well she won't but Camellia will understand it my man I can show you a secret follow me and you'll see that if she kind of wiggles in your arms be fun <laughs> like pull me down pull me down oh, uh, mm -hmm. she wants to show us something no, I want to show him something. <laughs> Hisses at Camellia. <laughs> Looks back to be fun. Just weaves between his legs. Just. <laughs> you hear Winnie kind of. <laughs> Winnie just kind of croaks at you from on top of the frog in a way that suggests. This bitch! <laughs> <laughs> And uh, Gez, I love that name for her. Gez will um, lead you to area one. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, where the fuck is area one? There it is. It's the dining room area. And um, she'll kind of claw behind um, the shelving unit where the unfortunate cookies were found. The series of unfortunate cookies were found. <laughs> mm, a dining room. Mate, come here. My man's, there's treasure in here, isn't it? It's pretty so. fucking cool. Look here, da. Look, my man's, look in here. <laughs> what are they scratching at, by the way? What exactly? Um, so it's like um, just kind of a freestanding shelving unit. Um, okay. So you're able to kind of easily... It's very rickety and there's no longer shit biscuits on it. So um, I'm pulling out the club and I'm going to smash the shit out of it. Fuck yeah. Um, it alarms. <laughs> it definitely alarms, guys. Fucking hell! Oh, he's strong as well. Mm. <laughs> No wonder you're coming after my man's, isn't it? What is your name, by the way? You haven't, like, introduced me to any people here. Looks at Camellia. Very rude oh. of you. Uh, I'm Camellia. The, your man's is Bifon. That's Ludo. Yeah, he is. Right. Mm. Ludo and Tarquin. <coughs> All right. Who's that little one with the green on a red? Oh, that's small. That's a fucking silly name. Her parents should be ashamed. Nowhere near as elegant as Kissin type. <laughs> so my man's called Bifon. Oh dear, what do I find? <laughs> do you find um just about you're about to smack it with your a uh, weapon but you kind of realize oh it's something um and you see it's kind of like this um <laughs> this long uh wooden staff um and in the very tippy top there appears to be um uh like a little robin or a little songbird um singing kind of carved into it a tiger sejima special that's for all the arc of the fans um, and, um, you, with your 
study of the arcana can tell this to be a staff of bird calls this oh. is an item i found and it is real and i was like i have to give them one of these <laughs> where is it gone no where is it gone <laughs> it's like the best where the fuck's it gone it was right here uh it's, uh, it's stuff bird calls stuff bird calls um i will get goes to explain it for you guys um mm -hmm. this wooden staff is decorated with bird carvings it has 10 charges while holding it you can use an action to expend the charge from the staff and cause it to create one of the following sounds out to a range of 60 feet a finch's chirp, a raven's call, a duck's quack, a chicken's cluck, a goose's honk, a loon's call, a turkey's gobble, a seagull's cry, an owl's hoot, or an eagle's shriek. Um, it unfortunately, despite the description, does not regain expended spell char uh, charges daily at dawn. But you can also use it as a bludgeoning weapon. Do I need the entire piece for it to work? If if you were thinking of disassembling it, it would it would require an additional check to make sure that the enchant enchantment on the item remained intact. Okay. If you were thinking of just breaking off the little bird from the top. Yeah. Uh, I need a what <laughs> check? Um, it would it. probably... Um, it would probably need something slightly more than just breaking it apart. Um, mm -hmm. It might need like a specialist treatment. Um, I'll, yeah, alright. I was wondering about that. Disassemble it, it later. safely. <laughs> Um, you could you. try breaking it in half, but it might not go well. No, 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 no. I'm wondering where the magic resides. I'm wondering if it's the entirety of the staff or just the yeah. lobin. Yeah. yeah, gotcha. It would be the whole thing, but not impossible to, you know, move, mm. move around. Well, it, DM, the, the, the plan is uh, yeah. I could probably find use for the spell, but I don't need the whole thing. However, yeah. I'm wondering how good a staff it is because I know somebody who could use it. Ew. So it we is, can I have believe, the two same stats as a pieces of loot staff. instead of one. I was just plain mm -hmm. ass that. Oh, I'm sorry, Tarquin. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> I'm not going to give him a plain ass staff. Mm, do you guys want some more loot? Yeah, if there's more loot, we'd love some. Loot, yeah. Promise me something. What do you want us to promise? That you look after me really well mm -hmm. and help me find my dad. Aww. And also, I would like to sleep only on comfy surfaces, not sleeping on the floor. Um, and if I meow a certain way, I would like to be carried, please. Oh, hey. Those are my conditions. And not fed any more of those bloody biscuits. Disgusting. I can be sure of that. Okay, uh, there's apparently um, more loot, but, uh, you guys have some stipulations. Mm-hmm. She wants us okay. to help her find her dad. Can do. Mm -hmm. She and also Ooh, uh, yes. not sleep on the floor and also be carried when she wants. Um, there is an interdimensional um, portal that I'm gonna try to put her in. I don't know if there's couches there. The fuck? Mm. My man's no. 
Be fun. Be well. Don't put me in the sand. That's not where a girl belongs. The little kitten eyes come out again. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, we get into a lot of shit, as it were. I wouldn't want you to get blown up. Oh, don't like shit and blowing up. All right. For those, for those situations, I'll make an exception. Besides, it's a lot of friends. As a matter of fact, there goes one of your brothers over there. Hmm? Where? Yeah, that's uh, that's Phil. Just keeping uh, Camellia some company. Oh yeah, he's all. He's all bark and no bite, or too much bite and no bark, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't understand else, them, though, because I can only speak common. I'm more intelligent being than Phil. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, where's the loot you promised? All right, then, fine. Um, for the sake of brevity. Um, she will lead you to um, a secret drawer in the hallway, um, in the side cabinet, that's a word, um, that is an insignia ring of the Oracle Her Heraldry. Um, and she will also lead you to um, one of the side tables in the entryway um where you would find 60 arrows um and 300 golds worth of necklaces and jewelry and treasures to sell nice oh good going oh Spring should be a good place to start. Alright, we're going to sleep. I'm tired. Oh! It just pops out of my hand. <laughs> hey. Well, first things first. Uh, Camellia, 40 arrows for you. I'll just take 20. Thank you. Hmm. That's a good job, everyone. You managed to find some good loot. And a cat. Best loot. Ramishka. Yeah. Best loot, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, at least she knows what I am. And and suddenly the speak with animals spell somewhat gratefully wears <laughs> off. Thank God. <laughs> Um, let's see. I well, Al got a raise. Al got a raise, so 50 for everyone. Uh, hey! 50 for small. And, uh... Oh, no, 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 you don't... You don't gotta get nothing. Small. 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 Listen. Small. Listen. My mother small. is an uh, infant. Small. Small. She puts out her You give small 75 gold. <laughs> That was more than it and was gives, before. And then gives Henry 25 for their troubles. Oh, Dang. sweet. Get you can't. Home. He's asleep. He'll be fine when yep. we get him wherever the <laughs> hell he's going. <laughs> Shit. No, it's great. Everyone's doing great. Right. Are we resting here for the uh, evening then? Or just a short respite? Mm, yeah, whatever you guys like. I mean, I don't really have anything I need to recharge. Um, I just want to get Camellia into the sun. That's my main concern right now. Yeah, we should probably prioritize that. Well, uh, we'll carry on charging onwards if everyone's alright with that. Sure thing. <laughs> Okay. 
And so, and so, the team leaves the accommodations of the Oracle <laughs> Heraldry in the cavernous, moist dewdrop tunnels of, of Nil and begin to make their way even further through the wilderness and hopefully somewhat towards the major town of Divestcus. And that is where we all end today's session. Yay! Yay. Unexpected that well, win. Yes, no, did it. GG. <laughs> oh, thank you, Roos. <gasps> wow, wow. That is that a Wow. 30 no, months. The My incredible God. voice actor. <laughs> Shut up. You don't, <laughs> you don't get to eh anymore. That was fucking amazing. Is that Oscar nominated mm -hmm. Rubes make stuff? <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> the eh, alone twice today and there's like a shake in there when you do that that's yes perfect. <laughs> that's yeah. not easy to do <laughs> i'm trying to do it i can't fucking do it <laughs> it's my favorite thing to do <laughs> it's so good so good gg team and it's nice Holy that shit. only inanimate things wanted to kill us today. As I figured we needed a day off <laughs> from mortal peril. I like exploration. Yeah. No, I hope you enjoyed. I figured there was enough enough there to explore. There was enough there to explore that I had to hurry it up at the end. I was surprised. But yes, I mean, he found the staff of bird calls and the protection from face scroll, so. And loads <laughs> of money. So this is... And a lot of lore! A lot of lore! Holy schmoly, a lot of lore. If things don't work out, I'm just going to give you the staff. Tarquin could be really cool for you to beat somebody up with it. <laughs> And then, like you, and then when you're done, like knocking them out, you hear like a raven call, and then the the cape of billowing goes up. Be fucking awesome. <laughs> exactly. I was just imagining just, just to look cool, you know. Exactly. That's why I gave you the cape. <laughs> <laughs> That's some the crow shit right there. Just imagining mm. the staff making noises. <laughs> <laughs> why why do we need the staff to do it when we have a whole cast of wonderful characters that you can check out at the link that Scorpio is posting in the chat hey, what, hey, what's slash POS yeah. I always read that as piece of shit me too I don't think it means that it means positive. a positive like a positive tag oh like you're saying it in a Yay. positive light yeah. gotcha there's also like, slash cause... LH which is not lick hands <laughs> Oh. LH is lighthearted. Mm -hmm. oh. It's like my one. my one of my best friends. Um, she, she saw SMH in chat, and she said, "Oh god!" <laughs> and she said, "Whenever I see that, I just think it says shitting myself hard." <laughs> <laughs> I'm using that from now so on. Anytime I see yeah. SMH, it's like. Shitting myself hard. <laughs> really disappointed in myself today. Ah, <sighs> shitting myself hard. <laughs> it's it way funnier. Works. It's so good. <laughs> I guess life changing that one. Take that. Take that with you. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> I like LH. I never quite liked other things like you know jk and stuff like that yeah I like that one i got lot. confused because i was like then there's s and i thought that meant serious but it could also be sarcasm and then i was like i am afraid of this format yeah so i'll just <laughs> do my usual use brackets and over explain myself before anyone can question my probably very straightforward question <laughs> statement mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look Weird. i got i got i caused big fucking drama in a community by wishing people to have a good day so <laughs> i i n naturally i have to, i want to be careful <laughs> i still can't believe that i was like i hope everyone has a good day stuff's hard right now and someone literally took offense to what do you mean <laughs> and not even a day later key had been called a nazi <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, that was great 
Fucking... That was a highlight. Do you not remember? That was great. Oh my god. I didn't know that's the story you were telling. Yeah! The fucking guy that was like, you're basically being Hitler. And I was like, I am. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Which, that's what you get when you wish people have a good day. <laughs> but, I do wish you guys to all have a good day. And not in oh. an Nazi way. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> oh my god, I need to update that as well. Um, yeah, and if you guys have your own little summaries, that would be cute if people have their own summaries for, for an episode and you want to submit it and we can read it out. That would be that would be super cute. Save save me a job I already forget to do. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> but you guys are amazing. Thank you all for the support. Um, and uh, yeah, next week we're all gonna wish Tarquin, aka Darian, aka Volantis, aka Dario. A very happy birthday. <laughs> um, and unfortunately, we will be down at Darian because other people are having him for his birthday. So oh. we're not, we're not jealous. <laughs> no, no. Um, so be sure to wish him a happy birthday every day until then, and every day after, <laughs> forever. <laughs> Um, and we will miss you, and, um, I, again, I've had a week, I literally fell over, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep saying, cause that summarizes my fucking week, I literally fell over, um, my knee is fucked, um, nah, it's not fucked, but it hurt real bad, um, key rolled natural one on, not Deck on safe. gravity, <laughs> yeah, just gravity. <laughs> Um, on ankle, and uh, <laughs> and I'm a bit behind on uh, working stuff, and I've also got a busy week, busy weekend, ah, lots of good stuff though, lots of good stuff. But ah! um, but next week I'll figure something out. We will either do, maybe we'll do another group hangout, maybe we'll do some games. Um, maybe we'll do a bit of both, because we did also say a while back that if we're down a couple people, um, we could delve into some player character origin stories. Oh. And we do kind of have one ready, at the very least. <gasps> so, we could do potentially half a session, or a full session of that indeed. Um, see Is how it Tarquin? Because could... then that might be a problem. <laughs> no, it's it's you, you numpty. Oh, I'm a numpty. <laughs> numpty. Yeah, you are. I'm so numpty yeah, right you're now. You're a fucking numpty. <laughs> fucking the numpty is so no me. <laughs> <laughs> I love her though. <laughs> I've I've gone too far with the just because cute animal doesn't mean they're nice. Um, you I have some of the, the crabbiest NPCs. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you be kind of crabby, though, if you were a little cat that was allergic to magic and had been stuck in a moist-ass fucking cave system Look, without everybody your dad has, for a month? <laughs> everybody has been curious about Briarly. I'm like, oh, about this frog here, though? <laughs> you don't have shit about Woody. <laughs> Nobody cares to ask me anything. I'm just kind of sitting here being beautiful and nobody cares to ask me a damn thing. Beautiful with the, with the sober tattoo on your forehead? Leave me the fuck alone! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ask for this. I had the power of deities and then, then things happened. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, so man. yeah, we'll, we'll see how we're feeling next week. Keep your eyes and ears peeled. Um, for dragons and for us, <laughs> mostly for us, but also dragons because that'd be super cool. Um, imagine dragons going oh. to fight you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just very fighty this week. I don't know. I fought, I that's why I did. I didn't fall over. Radioactive, radioactive. Radio 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 Rad
<laughs> uh oh. I'm sorry. Oh, my home. Oh, come on. Deep in my bones. <laughs> um, yeah. Anything else from you guys? You know? Oh. Um. It's not you guys. Real quick. Um, we still have a. <laughs> Shut up, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, what about you guys? Shut up. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we still have a giveaway going on. Um, if you, um, you, you have another couple of days, I might extend it because I don't have time. Um, but if you have a favorite clip from any of these episodes, it can be today's episode. That's fine. Uh, send us a cl little clippy clue of your favorite moment or moments of Tales of the Torn Veil vale and send it to us. Send it to me personally. Um, thank you so much, Scavier. Um, send it to me. Sorry, I've just remembered what I'm doing Friday and I'm like, ah! Um, send it to, uh, me. And, uh, that will automatically enter you into the giveaway. And, uh, you can get prizes for do it. I will extend it, because I haven't got fucking time. Um, he is a busy bee. Um, you're so cool. Um... And Scorpio mod love. Um, and we have! We fought a dragon last week, Midnight Ape. Uh, and this week, we fought gravity. <laughs> 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 yeah! Clip, clip that shit! Send it to us! It will enter you into the giveaway! <laughs> Do it! Do it! You get... If you win, you get stuff. That is in the coffee. That you can pay for. Or you can just win it. Or you can do fucking both. I ain't not going to stop you. Um, but yeah. Check it out. Sorry. What we got? I believe JC had something to say. Mm, no, I do not. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. sorry. I don't know where you got that in. You got that it's because you made a noise or all, and I was like, if you guys got anything, and you went, mm, ah, and, then, uh, and then I was like, wait, shut up, I haven't remembered a thing, <laughs> and, then and then I felt bad. <laughs> but, have you guys got any news other than, are you excited for your birthday, Darian? Thank you. I'm sorry I can't be here, but, you know, every in, in my family, it's like that. We We go visit, we gather everyone. And we Aww. spend the day together, so that's awesome. It's my turn. Yeah. We'll make sure it's officially uh, Tarquin Day. Yes. <laughs> yes. Officially Tarquin, so, Tarquin Day. Okay. Yeah, I hope you guys have fun, and I'll see you the next one after that. Yay! Woo! Turning even older this year. Even older, because I'm an old man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Very <no>. old man. <laughs> Virgo babies, let's go! Wait, it's still Virgo, right? Yes, Virgo. Yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> Everyone's Hell yeah. Virgo. nowadays. <laughs> Virgo's the best. Just saying. That'd be pretty good, actually. <gasps> oh my god. I need some love. Yeah, we have a lot of Virgos. Dang. Yes! It's love one of them's guys. birthday today, unfortunately. <gasps> It is? Mm hmm. Who's. Who. Who's the 11th? Cav is the 11th. Who's the 11th? Cav. Cav? It's big Cav? Key. <laughs> yes, it's Big Cav. Key. Just moving on. It's fine. Okay, <laughs> Let's I not spend to 10 say, minutes with me birthday, trying to remind Kev. you who Kev is. <laughs> happy birthday, Kev. Um, <laughs> yes, look after yourselves. Don't fight gravity. You might lose um, and hurt your knee and break your phone. Um, look after yourselves. Celebrate. Be good to yourselves. Be your friend. Don't be don't be good and tight, but wish people good and tight if they sneeze. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes hard conversations are hard because they are needed. Um, but always remember to give yourself time and give yourself grace because you deserve it. 
and look after yourselves. And you're cool. Okay! Bye bye! Right. Bye! <laughs> bye! Take care! <laughs> take it easy, everybody! Bye bye! And you take it easy. I'm a cat. I have the difficult <laughs> nine lives.